Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the major grand final of the fifth Counter-Strike Confederation season. Uh, before we get started with our contest tonight, I want to begin by extending an enormous thank you to all the admins, uh, committee members, general managers, and all the people who made this season happen. Without you guys, this league would not be possible, and we'd definitely not be here tonight. So, huge shout-out. The hugest of shout-outs, actually, to Raptor, Stepro, and Nolan for taking the um, vital roles of admin this season. We all appreciate you and, and the time that you guys put in um, kind of making this possible. And lastly, but most importantly, I want to thank... From the bottom of my heart, each and every one of you who are tuned in right now, if you're just passing by, why not stay a while? If you catch these streams but don't play in the league, your support means everything. And to those of you who do play, have played, or plan on playing, you guys are the lifeblood of this league and, and why it still exists. All this administrative and logistical stuff um, would mean nothing without people engaging, playing, and having fun. So please take a second, pat yourself on the back, and appreciate the moment, because you guys, you guys have earned it. Um, with that said, let's turn to tonight. You've heard me for uh, about a minute now, but if you don't already know me, uh, I go by the alias Max, because, well, my name's Max. And uh, joining me in this digital casting booth tonight are my good friends Fuffy and Mechatronic, lovely commentators who are taking over during game time. Also with us tonight in this virtual booth is Raptor, who will be observing this uh, best of three and giving you all some beautiful ca camera angles. With all that said... Let's open the floor and dive right into this banger of a game that we've got. Fuffy, you want to start us off there? We got Legion of Boom. We got Bassoons. Two teams who've made it this far. Legion of Boom looking strong. It's surprising that they beat Shoguns in uh, that semifinal match to make it here. Although uh, Shoguns were without their star player. And Bassoons, a team that started one in four. They'd only won one match and were really struggling. But here near the end, they've picked it up and made it all the way to grand finals, though. Before we get into anything, before we get into anything, there's one thing that I want to point out, and that is that we've got Ancient tonight, guys. I'm so excited Beautiful. for Ancient. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's going to be it's going to be a good night. Um, so, Mechatronic, what are you uh, what are you expecting from this game uh, or from this, I guess, whole series? What, what do you think we're going to see tonight? I, I'm, I'm hoping to see good Counter-Strike. I'm hoping to see three maps, right? We always hope to see three maps yeah. at the beginning of the series, right? We want to see good Counter-Strike. We want to see a lot of good Counter-Strike. Um, so three maps is, is our number one goal here. I I, have, I don't want it to, I don't, I don't want any of them to be stomp. I want them to be close, but not too close. <laughs> don't yeah. be sweating too much. You want yeah, your exactly. guys over yeah. in the Woodwind Gang to make it through the bassoons? Yeah. We're already sweating anyways, so holy moly. <laughs> we got these lasers here. I don't know about you guys. It's about 30 degrees in Canada right now, and I'm sweating, but we're taking one for the team here. Um, Fuffy, what do, you, what do you think, man? What, do you, what are you seeing from tonight? You, you, you guessing three? Uh, personally, for me, I don't think that we're going to see three whole maps. I, you know, I, I understand that you know, Bassoons can be a favorite team. Oboe's a fun personality, but... I just know Legion of Boom as the cold hard killers. They're the ones that my squad, the Leopards, went up against. We just got destroyed 2-0. They've stomped everyone on their way to these finals, but they've also shown so much resilience in the actual main season um, before playoffs, and they just have such a deep map pool. That's why we see them out here picking maps like Ancient, and I, I personally think they're going to take it 2-0, but I mean... It could go to three if Dust2 uh, gets a little bit crazy with the individual skill. I just see their strategy essentially being too much. I'm not sure. I'm sure, Mechatronic, you have some differing opinions. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd like to put my official prediction in now for the Woodwind Gang, uh, for the Bassoons. I, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking <laughs> that we're going to see a two to one here, Bassoons. Uh, bassoons picking up their map mm -hmm. and Overpass. I don't see them picking up Ancient. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to to sell yeah. you on that, right? But I can sell you on Dust 2. I can sell you on Overpass. I think the team will be good on both of them. I think everything will be good. Um, that's what I gotta say on the Bassoons. I mean, they're they're a well-rounded team that started the season really bad, as Fuffy said before, but have absolutely gotten their stuff together since that point after a few roster changes and managed to get to playoffs, first of all, and then not only get to playoffs, make it through to the finals of the playoffs. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Um, yeah, so, uh, Fuffy, uh, other than, other than what Mecca just brought up, uh, and I guess we got the stats here coming up, uh, look at that, ooh, you wanna, you wanna take us through these stats we here, got Fuffy? This. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is Corby. Uh, Kirby, this guy is terrifying. If you've ever been on the <laughs> server with him, 
wherever he is, if you're behind him, if you're flanking it, he turns around. I swear to God, we thought he had wall yeah. hacks or some BS. But he just, <laughs> he knows, he controls the game. He's the one helping to call, move all of his pieces around, but he also knows to play for himself, specifically because he's the strongest player on this team. And I mean, it shows in his 1.34 rating uh, there, as you can see. Uh, of course, up there, everyone else pretty much around the same rating. Uh, Gindet, 1.02, Pecan, Dashi, or just Dachi, I, I gotta get the words right. You got it. Uh, you got all it. sitting around that 1.0 rating. Tea Noodle's an interesting one, though, because I want to bring him up. Because, yes, he looks to be struggling the stats, but actually, recently, in the ancient game that they played against Shoguns, he was the one top fragging for the team. He was the one really putting in those numbers. So he may be there at the bottom, but he can bring big things. And I think if he brings big things tonight, it's going to be even easier for Legion of Boom. All right, can, uh, we, can we move over to the uh, the other side of the statistics, please? All right, the <laughs> losing the team statistics, gang. let's put them up now. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so on the Woodwick Gang, we have Bird, who was described by general manager and team captain Oboe as the man who clicks heads. And I think that's the most apt description you could have given him, right? Man's got a 1.24 KD. He's absolutely killing it this season. Uh, ja, I believe, is the support player. Somebody uh, please he's interestingly he was brought in and on his previous team avalon he uh was just sort of playing as a rifler a little bit lurky um and when he was brought in he picked up the op and he's just been going off with it he's had some games he's had some some pretty crazy stats for uh, a player that was traded away from a previous team and now has sort of become the second star i think his op is going to be actually really scary on dust too that being said i i don't think it'll be enough but i, I know it's scary <laughs> So we to finish out the team here, we've got Kyle, we've got the general manager and the captain Obo and Veril. Veril, obviously a legend of this league, along with Obo. This team's kind of just full of language. Um, and to go along with this, right, we have Quirby and Bird, the two superstars on these two teams. And That'll we've got some stats one. pulling up right now, right? The ratings are so close. The multi kills per round is so close. And the first kills per round, you see that Quirby's a little bit more of an entry fragger than Bird is, but yeah. It, it's all really, really close that it kind of doesn't matter how, like, if one's a little bit more of an edge frame than the other. They're, they are unequivocally the stars of their team. Yeah, I think that first kill per round really is different because Quirby's opping means that he gets a lot of first kills there in the early parts of CT rounds because he can just hold angles and those players will walk into them. Uh, still, though, they're really head to head and multi kill per round. Both, of, well, excuse me, I just made a weird mouth noise. Both of them. Have some pretty crazy ratings there. So this is going to be an exciting one because we've got star players on both sides of the aisle going up against each other. I mean, great points all around, boys. And I'm really glad that we uh, bring up those two uh, those two star uh, numbers there because that's uh, it's a good kind of uh, set piece to show what should be a, a good couple of games. Let's hope we get three. Um, let's pray. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, what else? What else do you think is uh, interesting? Do you guys see the the veto specifically? I know, I know we've, got but um, ha I, like, do, do you guys know if uh, Dust and Ancient have been kind of frequently played maps for these guys? Or I'm assuming Ancient. Not. I yeah. Who, who Ancient, knows? At the end of the day, I think Ancient's the one weird thing thrown into here. But I know that Legion of Boom is comfortable on all three of these maps, and Bassoons are comfortable on Dust and Overpass. And I know they've played Ancient before. I believe they lost it in a very close overtime. Mm -hmm. um but i think that may, that game may have had a few subs in there been a little bit weird so well if, they're really just an unknown they're a question mark on this map but their yeah. dust two is very strong they've got both oboe and jaw who can pull out the op uh which is very important on a map like dust two and they've got their t side down uh on that one and then overpass will be interesting because a lot of teams in csc play that one yeah, I want to touch on Dust 2. I think that that double op setup that the bassoons can pull out will be absolutely vital to them winning. Just because Dust 2 has so many long areas, right? There's an entire part of the map named long. Like, let's be clear here, right? There's <laughs> there's long, there's through middle. There's so many places you can use an op on both T side and CT side, right? It's, it's a little unorthodox, but a double op T side is definitely possible. Using double ops on Dust 2, especially when it's to your favor, can be so game pivotable and so turning. And so I, I, I like to put that. That's why I said the 2-1 for the bassoons is I, I like to think that that, uh, that double op there for on Dust 2 is going to play the difference. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope we see uh, some nice opping on Dust because we all know that uh, what, a, what an absolute monster that uh, that big green can be on the map. 
Uh, this is maybe a little bit of a question, and not that not that you have to have an answer, but who do you think might be the um, the wild card in this game? I know we talked about our stars. I know we talked about what to expect, but what how will you know like what do we expect any unexpected kind of uh players to to sh show their head and and make some plays i actually i have a clip for this one i don't know if we can get this uh queued up i have a demo oh. that i can go over but i think that in order for bassoons to get anything done they are really gonna need oboe to come alive he's the one calling for them making a lot of these key decisions but i think his rating has really suffered because of that he, in theory, on this team should be that second star, but instead it's Jaw, which is interesting. But in this specific round, we have them set up. They're playing their default, going for cat control. Kyle smokes off Xbox here. Obo heads through lower, and they begin to just head straight on up cat. And the first thing I want to bring up is Bird. He's the one who has the most entries, the highest entry percent as well for the bassoons, and he can find a lot of openings just without getting traded. In this round, gets flashed in, takes the fight onto JM Dodds, wins it out. Once they have that, they have cat control. And this is a team that has, I said before, a lot of good aimers. However, they have execs of their own. They line up a hit here for cat, their smokes go in, but they get a Molotov in front of them. But this is where Oboe is crucial because it's his calling and his decision making that gets them out of this awkward spot where they have no map control. All that they have is cat. So quickly they back up, Oboe heads into tons, Veril gonna make his way up towards long just to hold in case there's that flank. Uh, but now here is where uh, Oboe strikes. He throws in nades, he throws his own fake, and it's gonna pull one, two, three players all over from the other side of the map, leaving only one person isolated here. And at this point now they can just exec out. It's just a split second decision from Oboe. He takes that spot, lets his teammates go do the, go do the rest of the work, they go out A, only one person. I think if Obo can continue making smart decisions like that, as, I mean, we know that he has some fragging power, but what they really need is they need a little bit of that structure and a little bit of that, uh, that strangeness to them. The ability to throw these fakes to mid-round call. And I think that's what Obo can bring. And if he does, it's going to really help him in this series. All right, I got a weird thing I'm excited for in this series. All I've right. got a super <laughs> weird thing. Uh, I've scrimmed against this team before, right? And they've done something mm -hmm. weird in scrims that they say that they do in real games. I'm not sure if I believe it yet, but I'm ready to see it, which is pulling out the shotguns. Oh. The bassoons love shotguns. And I just, I want to see shotguns. That's all, that's all I really care about tonight. Like, let's be real. Like, throw like, the rest of the final away. No, no one cares about it. Shotguns. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know what? And, and speaking on shotguns, let's talk about the sawed off for a second, just because what a, what a, what a just like, not, I wouldn't say underrated because it's still a terrible weapon, but I would love, I would love to see one or two sawed off kills. That Yo, would just, Farrell that would make my out. night. Farrell was pulling out the sawed off. He was pulling out the Nova. He was pulling out the yeah. X. He was pulling out everything on us. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even a few swag seven kills if we can get him in there. Um, yeah, Mecca, you got any? You got any players we should watch out for other than obviously the big stars? Maybe that, uh, um, anything off the top of your head? It's gonna sound weird here that Fuffy covered a player from the team that I'm saying is gonna win. I'm gonna cover a player from the team Fuffy is saying is gonna win. <laughs> um, I think that Fuffy touched on it, but T Noodle. Um, we watched him last week in the conference and the I believe it was conference finals, right? And T Noodle showed up when he was needed by the team when the team seemed to be lagging a little bit behind on some stuff he showed up and was able to get kills where he needed to same with pecan actually um the two of them not like the superstars of their team right but really really good players that were able to show up when they were needed to and as long as they're continuing to show up the series is going to be close yeah, and i i agree i want to jump in here with a point all of them we saw had those sort of middling you know 1.0 sort of ratings everyone except for kirby um, but I believe any one of them has the potential to step up simply because they play such structured CS. You'll see them lining up a lot of executes, playing really smart with the map control that they take. And because they're so structured, all of them know what to do. None of them are uncomfortable in their spots. And so if they're having a good day, they can frag out. Exactly. As, as, as uh, you guys have already pointed out, it seems that what we have here is not just two teams, despite how the, the, the ratings look. We don't just have two teams led by individuals. We actually have complete complete teams who, who hopefully, you, you know, you put any one player in any one situation and they will perform, perform well. So uh, let's, let's, hope, let's hope that, we, uh, that you are, uh, your underdog predictions 
correct and that we won't we might see some surprise mvps coming out i'd love i'd love to see just you know uh, uh t noodle pull out the mvp out of nowhere and <laughs> and and surprise everybody um Yo, how much time we got MVPs. left what's oh I have an MVP okay question do we give out oh. like physical? Can we give out physical medals for MVPs? Are we like? Can we get like the HLT? <laughs> can we get the H- Can we get them to take a picture? Yeah. I'll Photoshop and, it. In. I'll Photoshop and, it. In. More importantly, Ray, if the MVP is on the losing team, do we get a twist style? I am sad York? twist. The, the sad oh, twist, no. but with a with the medal. Do we get one of those pictures? Because I feel like this is a very important thing that we need to address immediately. I feel like I feel like we'd have to do some fundraising, but um, I you know what I would I would put ten bucks into that. I'd I'd make sure that those that, like, that, like that those, those got somewhere. That you get when you play soccer or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> do, uh, do, do, do question mark one. do question mark donate in the bots input channel to donate to CSC where some Ooh. of your money will go to <laughs> things stupid stuff like stupid this. stuff yes. like that. Also, Wonderful. make sure you're in the CSC Discord Discord dot link slash CSC. It's a great place, a lot of fun chilling. I'm sure there's people in the voice chat having a watch party of this one, making fun of how how beautiful we all look, you know. How absolutely look looking like I just got out of the shower I'm right now. It is like 30 <laughs> degrees in here and I'm just dripping. <laughs> Anyways, um I'm also uh sweating because I'm I'm a little worried for the game just because uh like like the uh, the prediction made. I, I hope we don't see a 2-0, you know. It's it's uh I'm sorry. It's it's I'm, a, it's a little I'm predicting a two zero. Yeah. Maybe Dust Two is close. It's possible, but I think if Dust Two especially does not go the way of the bassoons, it's gonna be a struggle bus for them. Because on Ancient, just looking, I have a clip that I'll play before Ancient. So make sure you stay tuned in even between maps to watch that. Got some more fun analysis of uh, Legion of Boom. Essentially, they have an A exec, they have a B exec, they have mid takes. All of these nades, all of these unique setups, they know how to default for this map control. And just off of all of that, I think they're just going to have the tactical depth that uh, bassoons, you know, maybe they can play fraggy and weird on a map like Ancient, but I think they'll really struggle against the superior tactics. I think you're probably right. I mean, Ancient's really new, right? As as we all know, That's I mean, true. it came like, what, two days before the season started? There was yeah. a whole discussion yeah. about whether we even be playing Ancient this <laughs> season. Controversy. It turns out, it turns out for the first six weeks, no, we're not playing Ancient. And then everyone started playing Ancient. So. I feel like Ancient's a lot of an unknown to a lot of people anyway, because we haven't seen a huge amount of it in CSC to start with. And not only have we not seen a huge amount of it, any that we've seen has, it hasn't been the best Ancient we've ever seen, right? So I feel like there's, there's definitely the possibility as there is with any map, but I feel like it's more towards Ancient that, you know, a team's been under the radar kind of pracking Ancient and just preparing for this. I, I mean, here's the thing. I'm excited to see what comes out regardless of what happens, right? If, if Ancient's going to be a 16-1, right? So be it a 16-1 as well, as long as we have two other good maps, right? Yeah. We want to yeah. see the best counter strike we can here. And that's I think that's what we're all here for. Exactly. And and speaking of good counter strike, uh, I just I just realized that we we didn't we, we haven't really touched on, I guess, um the the IGLs for both these teams. We kind of mentioned them in passing. We talked about Obo, who uh or not it's Obo. Who who's who's IGLing for both of it, these teams? It is Obo for the bassoons. He's the one okay. that I on to sort of make those mid-round calls in the yeah. clip that I pulled up, but uh, Kirby's the other one. So we talked about them, but we also mainly talked about Kirby as a fragger. Yeah. But he's, I believe he's also the brain behind this one. Him and Gindet actually together have like oh. so many pages of Google Docs and sheets. And stuff. <laughs> they're, they're, After they're, we lost to him, he hit me up. Yeah. He's like, yo, here's all the notes. And I see in there, there's all these notes like, uh, yeah, it's, Buffy plays here. He's bad. Make sure you go there. Uh, you know, all these, all these I, detailed notes. It's like, uh, just... it's, it's like that movie. What's the, uh, I can't even remember. Uh, um pacific rim you know how there's two you know there's two people controlling those big <laughs> mecha monsters fighting godzilla and all that stuff that's that's what you got over there i really thought yeah, you're going for a Kirby. real steel thing but <laughs> oh well isn't that just one guy isn't that just yeah a but kid? well it's a guy and a kid and it could have been this i don't know uh, yeah, my, i guess my, okay. and big Kirby. <laughs> i mean real steel is an amazing robot movie. boxing movies is not the greatest <laughs> i'm gonna be real here and That's and when fair. you look at just just to anecdote for a second, when you look at actually the the plot and kind of like the arc, if you had like a roller coaster of what Real Steel was, it's the same arc as the first Rocky movie. It's like literally the exact same. They just, yeah, just, just made it, they just made a robot movie. Just Anyways, robots um, make things cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully, and, uh, no hopefully, bots here in the oh, CSC. <laughs> I was about to say. Hopefully, we get some robotic aim tonight. Um, <laughs> oh, that's maybe we'll true. see some head clicking. 
All right, um, man. Do we have any? Uh, do we have any side bets going? Any I feel side like those bets? Those are important, no. right? I like, personally... like in the Super Bowl, you guys see like did did X oh. person do this oh, kind yes. of dance when he scored a touchdown? Right? Like our, our prop think... bets. Do we have any prop Kirby... bets going on? Kirby gets like a one point five rating on one of these maps. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think mean... mine's going to be two knife kills. That's going to be throughout Maybe throughout the best of three. Throughout the best of three, not just one okay. map. No, no, no. Throughout okay. the best of three. I'm not that insane. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I, I'm you slightly know what? insane. But... You know what? I'm going to say there's going to be a Zeus kill. I think it's going to happen at some point. I just, I've got a feeling in, the old, in these old bones of mine, you know, being the, <laughs> being, being, being the old man here. Only uh, just, uh, you know, a whole month older than uh, over there. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, any, any other? It's, I, I think in the Super Bowl, it's, uh, there was some guy who won like a million dollars because he bet that there was be a safety in the first play of the game back like four years ago and he, he bet like a hundred dollars on it do we have any of those do we have any, you know someone's gonna one g or someone's gonna someone's gonna i mean yeah the <sighs> the easy one i guess is like corby is not the best player that that bassoons kind of shut corby down i mean that's wow. what you, like if you're a bassoons fan that's kind of what you hope for anyway right you you hope yeah. for the, mm -hmm. shutting down the other star player um but like whether or not they can actually do that like mm -hmm. if they actually do that i think that's I think that's credible enough to have a prop bet going for. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. You know, I I think that Jaw is going to be the one that struggles. I know he's really good individually, but I think he's the one that if Legion of Boom shuts him down, they just win the whole thing outright. Yeah. Uh, simply because Jaw's very good, but he plays this sort of loose, aggressive, peeking a bunch of stuff with the op. If they're throwing their flashes right, their smokes right, all of this stuff for Legion of Boom. Yes, it's dust too, but even then, operas can still have a hard time there if the utility usage is coming in. And I know that Legion of Boom definitely has the utility usage necessary to do something like that. Yeah, speaking of uh, utility usage, uh, do you guys know if these teams practice a fair, fair bit during, uh, you know, during the week and during the season as a whole? I have an anecdote. I have one <laughs> that I have in an the document... <laughs> In the doc, yeah, uh, can you tell me, please? <laughs> in the document that I said that uh, I was looking over, talking to Gindet a little bit, there was a note that said Prack Ancient. Mm. It said Scrim Ancient, basically. Yeah. So they knew. They had this one for pick. They played it against Shoguns in the semis. They're playing it now. I, I, again, I think their Ancient's going to be real great. Let's, I hope so. So... I hope so. I've been, as a member of the Woodwind Gang, I have access to, you know, the Woodwind Gang Discord, as you do. Uh, <laughs> I've been seeing, I've been seeing some murmuring, some murmuring, some, some practice going on. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there have been people in at weird times of the day, just preparing in Discord calls. Uh, no, I, I've been seeing some practice from them. I, I hope that, that the practice pays off, right, for e either team, obviously. But, um, I mean, I, I hope that we come in and it's not a total dud. Like, I hope that, especially after the veto, right, that bassoons have gone, well, we're going to play Ancient anyway. We might, we got to learn it now. Like, there's yeah. no, we don't have a choice at this point. Um, even if they don't play it at all, right? There's, you, if, if it's your, if it's not your Insta band, you got to know how to play it to some degree. And so yeah. if it wasn't their Insta band, well, now you have to learn how to play it, right? Well, and, and um, that'll be interesting to uh, ask uh, after the uh, the whole affair is over is, is see, like, were these expected uh, map picks or was Ancient kind of, a, you know, the, uh, the, the, the unexpected pick um, by uh, Legion of Boom. So uh, anyways, uh, we're, it's about that time, eh? We're, we're almost getting there. We're, we're getting close. I got actually, their perma ban or their ban for this one was Nuke. Which is Ooh. another one that Legion of Boom really practice. Ooh. Um, I've scrimmed them on it. They played a very close game against the Shoguns on Nuke. And I believe they won it in the actual uh, semifinals against the Shoguns. Yeah. Uh, so it's tough because both Nuke and Ancient are tactically demanding in different ways. Ancient, you have to burn, learn a bunch of new stuff. Nuke is just very complex with the way that the rotations work. They chose I mean, to get Nuke out of there. So they've got to have something on Ancient, right? Yeah, I mean both of their both of those maps are super technically high, right? We 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 have like a scale, right? We got like super puggy maps, and then we got like super tactical maps, right? And Nuke sits all the way at that tactical end, and Dust Two is all the way at the really puggy end, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, banning Nuke out ahead of time basically tells everyone I don't want to play a really tactical map. No. I want to be playing something in which there's going to be roll of chance because on a tactical map, if you have good tactics, you should win basically every time, right? It comes down to like aim duels and that kind of stuff. But on a map like Dust 2, it is literally about clicking heads the entire time, full stop, that's it. 
That, like, like your taxes can be good, but it doesn't matter because you get shut down through a smoke yeah. and you get spammed through the doors. It doesn't matter, right? And um, I think... Oh. I was just going to say, I think it makes sense that they go this route simply because we saw them previously uh, when they made those early season changes when they were really struggling. They ended up actually removing their in-game leader and bringing in Bird, who's been the star of this team and really brought him forward. But I think that brought them back slightly tactically. Uh, Oboe stepped up to call. His rating was hurt a little bit because of that. Uh, you know, he can still call, and as I showed in that example, he can make good mid-round decisions, but without the tactical depth, they really have to go for maps like Dust 2. Though, Overpass, map 3, that's sort of in the middle of tactical and not, so... Yeah. I was, I was to about it, to say, really good. I was about to say, you can, you can really uh, abuse how kind of aim, aim duly it is sometimes on that, you know, the, the, the A bathroom position, right? It's like, you win some key duels in there, and you, you open up. But also... T side rotations, you can really screw up a CT uh, side with with all that uh, info that that you give in those situations. So it's a it's a definitely it, it'll be a fascinating decider if we get to it. Hopefully we do. Yeah, overpass yeah. is is an, I feel like overpass is the best decider map in the game because it is it is so down the middle on between tactical and tech uh, between technical and just like mechanical that it, it really does showcase both teams, right? If, you, if you're if you not good on tactics, you're going to lose. If you're not good on mechanics, you're going to lose. If you are good on both, it might not matter at all, right? Like, it is it is so up in the air. And with two that we, through stats, right, we obviously see that are so very close to each other, right? With Quirby and Bird on the, on the two sides, like, being very high and everyone else being a little bit below them, right? We see that these two teams are actually so very closely matched. On a map like that, you, you take everything out. You take everything, you throw it out. You say, Legion of Boom's really good at tactics. Throw it out the window. You say, uh, Bassoons are really good at AM. Throw it out. It doesn't matter. It's the last map, and it's the one map that you can be good on anything on, it, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be decider. exciting to see. We'll have to see if we get there, though, right? Well, yeah, we're talking about it. I... Yeah, so it's all up in the air until, uh, what is it, the fat lady sings, something like that. Um, anyways, we are slowly getting folks joining into the, uh, into the server, but we're still, we're still a little ways off. What a time is it now? 9.03? Um, we're getting close. We're getting close. Getting close. Uh, it might be that time of the CSC stream where we talk about the most fascinating topic. Uh, what did people have for dinner tonight? That's, that's a very important... Very important uh, question, Fuffy. You wanna you wanna give okay, us an answer so for that one? I I heard that there is a, a theme of talking about pizza during <laughs> tech classes. <laughs> there I is? had pizza for dinner. Oh, it was lovely. Staying with it, I like I like to hear that. Mecca yourself? Uh, I had homemade ramen that oh. I absolutely did not make because I can't oh. do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so so it was wait. So are you making a joke or was it actually homemade? No, it was homemade. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you me. didn't make it. Okay. Just not by me. I thought that was sarcastic, but anyway. No, no, that was um, serious. Just not okay. by me. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, well, I still haven't eaten yet, so uh, that's that answers that question. But it Just is get on uh, that. In between, still early. In, in be yeah, yeah, yeah. In Luckily, yeah, yeah. Is you you yeah. throw us off to cast. You say, all right, yeah. go do your thing. Have fun. Yeah. You get to snack I on food it. and watch us yeah. freak out over whatever happens in game. <laughs> Unfortunately, Speaking no string cheese. I was uh, gonna say, speaking right. of snacks on food, what do we all have for snacks? Because your boy's got a string cheese. Oh, man. That's all that That's matters, it. I guess. Just yes. one, just a single string cheese. I, I had two. I ate one. That's fair. Um, fluffy, unidentified clear liquid. Oh, uh, it's, it's I water. have. It's water. I have clear liquid in a bottle. So I mean, I. Are, yeah. are, for sharing clear liquid, I also have clear liquid. But well, like, there we go. Perfect. We there always go. Clear liquid again, man. Look, all uh, you folks CSC at home, brought to you by yeah. water. <laughs> water. <laughs> it's clear liquid. Not not sponsored by water. Unfortunately, water. If you're listening, <laughs> just, if you're just watching, the concept of please water. sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, the hallmark idea of water. Or if you're for some reason watching the stream and you do have some sponsor us with. Shoot, you know, shoot, shoot the admins a message for for a for some ungodly reason that you were yourself on. I'm sure, I'm sure there's an avenue for that to happen, uh, but I, I doubt it'll be water. Unfortunately, that would, yeah. that'd, that'd be the king of all of all sponsors. I'd like um, to say that we had we had seven people in the server. We had seven people, and now we're down to like six. Oh no! Now <laughs> oh, we're up to eight. We're getting there. We're jumping. Oh, we're getting, we're getting people in the server. We're getting ready. We're getting. We're How getting much close do we to go time? 
how much do we analyze the one v one arenas that are currently going yeah. on? <laughs> you know what? Well, I'd I'd have to I'd have to uh, have that. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Rev. He hears. He hears us. <laughs> um, I think. Anyways, holy moly. <laughs> We're uh oh look at this he's gonna looks like a lot it. towards Legion of Boom side if I'm gonna be honest in my quick glances. <laughs> I it's it's looking it's looking very aim duly just it yeah in, uh, I, in yeah I think in, yeah. in this one in the one v one arenas it really just comes down to the individual aim <laughs> skill of these players. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Yo, oh. wait, we have we have eight people. It looked like it's we had ten for a there. second. I was I was scared. We were like ready to start. We were almost there. Yes. Right. Um, I would uh, I would hope that we... Uh, well, actually, what am I saying? We don't even have an knife round. The sides have already been... I hope we have an knife round, but it's already gone. Out, out, out the window. Yeah, oh, yeah um, do we get map three? Oh, let's Ooh. talk about starting sides, I guess, on Dust. We haven't really talked about that. So Very on Dust good. 2, the Legion of Boom will be starting on the CT side. Yeah. So, Fluffy, how do you think that they're going to play their CT side? You know, I personally haven't played against them. I've only played against uh, bassoons on Dust 2. But I know that with Legion of Boom having Kirby opping, he's either going to be that sort of rotator player. I know that uh, in how he likes to play and call around what he knows is his own great individual skill, he will be either that person playing towards mid doors, finding all of that info throughout the map, or he'll be that one either taking challenges cat or long to lock down that key map control. I'm really interested to see how their long takes come in. Because they're starting on CT on pistol, they'll either go for something heavy cat, or they'll use util to take a position like long that's very important. And I'm interested to see just in these rounds as they're on CT side, how they take long control. Because if they're able to get it, yes, there might be, you know, a strong offer in jaw. But jaw can't do anything without getting through those doors first. And if he's got nades in his face, if he's blinded, there's no way to get that. And so Legion of Boom can start with a man up if they get picks that way, or even just map control. I want to talk about something you said. It's an extremely important fact. Did you just say that Kir Kirby is opping, IGLing, and their top player? Yes. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure we all had that right. Yeah. He's yeah. not the only one that ops on the team, but uh, he knows how to get it done. Well, he's, I was he's a great was guy. I've gotten say, to chat with him a bunch. I was about to say I do know uh, I know Dachi actually very well. He's a good friend of mine and drop dead amazing opper. So I was when we were talking about this before, I was surprised that uh, he was not the one brought up. So I I would I would almost expect him to maybe in some situations pull that guy out and yeah, and, I've and we might we might see double it op. I've seen Gindet with an op too. Uh, they wow. sort of toss it around. I've mostly looked at their overpass demos because that's what. Mm. Uh, I played up against him there on Overpass. It was a fun one. Uh, and like yeah, him? just seeing him pull out that double op, seeing him get it, uh, get all that map control. I am interested to see who does op on Dust 2 because I haven't looked at any of their D2 demos. I've only seen Bassoons as I analyzed that one at the start. Boys, I have some information. Oh. Breaking news. Breaking news. Everyone is in the server. <laughs> oh right, my we're getting, god we're getting a little yeah, bit closer might mean we're starting in a minute i don't know this... for a fact but so everyone knows everyone is in the yeah server. we're in the server listen we started on the dot at 8 30 and that's correct they, they, they've got us waiting 10 minutes this 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 should have started at at, at nine o'clock and we're just sitting here chatting about string cheese my god uh, I mean, what it's a pretty great though. though it's just string cheese pizza not, clear yeah. liquid like yeah <laughs> the clear liquid gang always yeah oh i it's hope a knife I round hope. oh my god i think right, it's, the knife yeah, round technically doesn't see. matter but once we get through it they'll start out legion of boom on ct bassoons on t and we'll be able to jump into this one uh it's mechatronic and i leading us through this but i do gotta say max thank you very much no for worries controlling the chaos on the desk yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> i just listen i was just here to ask some interesting questions and hear from y'all who season i was <laughs> otherwise disposed anyways um i guess did we just did we just finish or are we going oh no i think it just yeah uh i think we're about to about to head into it so boys good luck ladies and gentlemen all of our viewers let's get ready for what should be an amazing first map fuffy mecca take it away boys thank right. you all uh, right as max then. said earlier who's who's i guess still with us I see <laughs> no i'm gonna leave now i'm just gonna leave you guys <laughs> all right it's us all right. we're here 
Uh, Jumping as right Max... into it. Pistol round. Legion of Boom starting on CT. Bassoon starting on T. CSE season five. Major grand flipping finals. I'm excited for this one. I'm sure you're excited for this one. Yeah, I'm we so can jump excited. into it. I guess I'm we're so in a pause. I did the I did my vamp too short. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do they got? What do they got? T Noodle has kit smoke. <laughs> that the CG has armor. We'll see if they have anything up. Veril and Jav bought Obo has util. I mean it's a classic IGL decision to get the utility on this one. Yeah, I, I mean, th this just looks pretty normal to me. I'm like, I'm gonna be real here. Like, th there, there is nothing special about this pistol round, and I mean, he said has two nice people with it. util. This is okay, more that's a little interesting. Odd. That's a little I think weird. Kyle's gonna smoke Xbox. They're gonna flash take long and then split cat. That's my opinion. Flash or they take try to long, double smoke long. Right. Yes, that's right. my guess. If I right. have to make a read, but who knows? Okay. What can we get that? Uh, can, can we get that in writing somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, let me just. Uh, uh, nope, I don't have anything to write it down. <laughs> Someone could clip it. Yeah, this is a sick pause right here. Uh, this is definitely a tilt timeout uh, for all of the tilting that would have occurred from this point on. <laughs> yeah, from the knife round that was predetermined <laughs> by the map picks. Uh... <laughs> Maybe they're just really tilted that they didn't get to start the side they wanted to. I don't know who they is in this case. Like I'm gonna be honest here, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, Legion of Boom got to pick. We're all set up. I'm assuming they're getting everything going. I hear the ticks of chat, and now I see the timer ticking down. Here it is. Now we actually get to get into it. Legion of Boom bassoons jumping on to this one. We're gonna figure out where they all play. Figure out how this pistol goes. It's an important one, but we're still just at the beginning of this best of three. Okay, my read. Okay, I knew that Kyle would smoke Xbox, but they're going tons instead. All right. Well, Ja and the squad have taken over the upper tunnels, and that's a good thing for them because there's only one man on the B sites. Nope, that's not oh, true. No, there's, there's, boost. there's a boost. There's a boost. There's boost in. And... Oh, that's just one kill. They dropped the boost. Sites. Oh, yeah, CG gets a second one and Kirby through the doors? What the heck is this? They now have the site. Feral's at least traded one back. But with only two of them left, how are they going to be able to plant and defend from all these angles? These CTs just have to wait. They even have plenty of time once the bomb does go down to get into this one. Okay, they hear the plant. This should be their signal to go. Instead, they just make a little bit of noise, try to find where these players are, and now they go straight out. Oh, they're all, all four players. His teammate is already dead, and he goes down to Gindet's USP. Legion of Boom take that pistol round off of a clever boost and a clean multi-kill through those doors. Yeah, that was, it, was, it was a nice retake there by the CTs, all deciding to rush out the same place, right? It could be a little dangerous with the, uh, with the Glocks, right? Locks and pick up a lot, shoot a lot of bullets really quickly, but uh, you know we got a uh, we got some nice, nice, nice hold there by the CT. Nice not getting headshot. All right, we have a pause. We got a pause in here. Not sure if it's a tech. Oh, yep, yeah, one player has DC'd. Yep, I think it's a computer restart. Actually, I can confirm that they are currently not in the the Basutans channel. All right, then. Getting that out of the way. At least we're getting into the start, you know? We start out, interesting pistol round. We get to cool down. And hopefully tech issues are not plaguing us near the end of this series where it'll get real exciting. Which, I mean, I believe it will. So far, though, that's a good start from Legion of Boom. Yeah, I agree. Pistols are important, right? They're less important on, uh, C on T sides, right, than they are on CTs. Um, so important for the Legion to get those, um, means that they can start getting their CT economy started, even though there's three, two FAMAS is bought into the round already. All right. I know you're a FAMAS hater, but like big FAMAS hater, it, it's, there's literally a place on the map called long. They can't just use SMGs at that range. They absolutely cannot, which is why you buy a scout for that point. I, you can't, you can't have like three scouts though. You got to get FAMASes. Okay. Like sounds like poor planning on your part. All right, what do you think the plan for the bassoons will be in this one? Are they going to force up here as we're counting down? Looks like I not think yet. they're going to stay with what they've got. I think they're going for the half buy, going going for the little bit of investment, going for the I want to make sure we have a full buy next round kind of vibe. Yeah, I mean, Bird has a deagle. He's dangerous with that one. They're going to be going 
Going cat, yeah, that's that Xbox smoke coming in. Kyle's specialty, it comes down. They cross before it. Yeah, CG's shots fired off. It's gonna be a little bit awkward if they get up close to him as he only has that scout. Flash out, he's blinded, push back. Jaws quickly up middle. They have him a flash Great from flash. his teammate means that CG can oh, just no. tuck in. Bird gets one kill, but Gindet doubles up. Him and Pecan have a deadly crossfire there in CG mid. And this last person spotted out by the truck. Not much that Obo can do. And yeah, over at the Magnificent, going down to Gindet. Legion of Boom grab themselves a second round. Yeah, I have absolutely zero clue what you were talking about there in terms of like the MP9s not being good at range. Uh, this is false. Hey, you know what? MP9 might be broken. You are correct. It is way too good at range. Uh, yeah, we should have known that, though. All right, here comes the long take. I mentioned long control before. Oh, and it's torn away from the hands of Legion of Boom. T-Noodle, at least he trades two back. That's important. It's much better than just a one and done, but him going down means that there's no one here on this A site. Instead, it's Gindet and CG to retake up Cat. They're coming. Robo has made the perfect play. He's in behind damage onto the second one. And with that, Gindet's likely going to be prompted to hold on to that AK. Just get out of there. You guys had a bonus round before. You should have enough money to buy up if Gindet can drop over a gun. So yeah, he just tucks in by those mid-doors and saves. That long control was very important. And just the speed that they got out there. Yes, there was a molly towards blue bin. Yes, there were flashes. But there were T-flashes as well. And so all those CTs just got stuck and destroyed by the superior AK-47s. Yeah, nice for Gindet to be able to save one of these AKs. Helps it with the buy the next round. It's, it's it's unfortunate that they weren't able to keep more alive, but uh, as per usual, take what you can get here. Yep, you take it, and the bassoons will take their first round of the game and series here on Dust 2. Dust 11, as I like to call it, because I do not understand uh, Roman numerals. Sounds about right for you, man. <laughs> All right, I do understand that this is a full buy. Uh, I mean, the technically. Xbox smoke will come in eventually. There is just one SMG. No op on the CT side. Gonna make it a little awkward. And no a op default on for tons and cat. This is interesting. Just looks like they're trying to get map control here, to be honest. They, they want to bait out some util on long. I mean, the, the, the problem here, though, is it's Quirby and company. Look like they're trying to get a little, little frisky yeah. in towards the long doors. I mean, Quirby doesn't have really that much util or doesn't have a kit. And just an SMG, he could get aggressive, but oh, there it is, Bird's opening. Just as I talked about before in our analysis, Bird just wins so many entry duels. And now as Barrel's running out Cat, this is entirely a fake. The real hit is coming in on B, two through the tongues, two through mid. They're already up. They've already got Gindet the site anchor. They can now just get the bomb down, and the last three players have to rotate in to try to stop them. Yeah, Bird just the defaults, and ooh, Kyle just caught out of the position. John not able to get anything through the window. Nice! Was that? That was a nade. Nice that was nade a frag, right there. Yeah. And Molly Molotov, coming through. That stops the reset. Great Molly. Quirby yeah, and Pecan just left. Cold in their tracks. Maybe they can still look in on this one. Only Quirby left. He's swinging around. He has two players to find though and they can just hide. Yeah, talking behind Quirby with one has to swap to his USP, oh, but he gets oh. the kill so fast. And now all he has to do is stick on this bomb. He should have plenty of time on this one. Quirby wins that one out. One versus two. I don't know how he got that second kill with the pistol. Bro, that was dirty. That was, that was real dirty. Like, there, there's no other, like, way to say that. That was dirty. Uh, does him dirty with the USP, but his shots were clean. Legion of Boom get a third, and Bassoons have to force up with two MAC-10s and a Galil. Yeah, I mean, the, the money's not great on either side, though. The SMGs what? or the Ts are what you need here. The oh. MAC-10 coming in for one. Oh, but I'm on the scout. It's strong from the CG, eventually goes down to Jaw. They can smoke it off. They've got the three stars left to defend. 
Hobo gives that one kill. H.E. onto Quirby. He's gonna need some more heroics in a B retake here. If he wants to get this one, Jaw is slowly creeping up. But they're gonna get caught out. Quirby catches one. Quirby damage onto the other. Him and Pecan combine. They know the last one is car. It's Birdie split up. And yeah, his spray is not good enough. Again, Quirby finishes it with a USP kill. And they win it out. Second time in a row on a B retake. I'm so surprised they get that one 2v3. Alright, so can we say that so far the USPS has been the MVP of the series? Not any player specifically, just the USPS. Uh, only Quirby's USPS. Only Quirby's USPS. His that's, specific that's one MVP. is just... It's blessed. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right here. Uh, Alright. Look at the Deegs. We got Look partial along with some Deegs. Let's see if they can get Deegs in. Bird's gonna enter long and there's no one to challenge him. Instead, they do sort of a Cat lean? What? Yeah, they boost a player up cat. Try yeah, to this... get this map control. Xbox smoke means that they don't have a lot of info. Ooh, Obo hears the spam. He could walk out on this one. He hears them reload and back up. So yeah, he just takes the map control for himself. That should oh, be a kill, oh. but the lack of armor spells disaster. T-Noodle getting that kill means that whatever info they had, whatever control they had other than long is gone. They're gonna have to capitalize off of that long control and go fast. Jaw leading the charge. Creeping up, they're going to peek into two players here in CT, and somehow they get across with no smokes. Bird just hanging back, dropping a few shots and staying alive. They get bombed down, and Kyle is on this flank from so far away. He's not going to find any players, but he should get the info that no one's coming through CT so that the rest of his team can focus on long, focus on cat. Bird is tucked in on long, and two sight players to defend this one, and Jaw wins that first duel cleanly. With that, the teams now have the advantage in this one. Molotov forces these players back, but they can also use that Molotov smoke just to look over. Ginda gets a kill. Veril's Eagle goes wild and hits no shot. Now they're on the bomb. Now these last two players have to stop it. And CG is able to defend him and Ginda together with only 20 HP in total. Win that one out. I mean, it wasn't much better on the other side, right? Ja had one HP after that first kill that he got on the catwalk. So he was, it, it was Varel with a deagle and Ja with that AK, and it, there wasn't much that could have been done there. But we see ops coming out, and it's Obo with the op. Oh, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna try to find something. Let's see, where's Obo heading? Yeah, I guess he's, ooh, yeah. Just watching that green box, hoping for an aggressive peek. They should not give it to him. Yeah, Gindet just gonna smoke him off. Oh, he peeks oh. in front of it. But Oboe's not ready for such a weird angle, so his shot does not land. Instead, we just reset. They have cat control, they have lower. They can go A or B basically anywhere except for long. So after a little bit of time, they'll need to watch their backs for a potential flank. Creeping up, Pecan, jump spotting boost. That's an interesting one. He's able to see Bird and just tuck into safety. I thought he saw Bird, maybe he didn't. I He's don't looking think he away did. now. They have no one watching Cat on this one. Two players stuck in B, one on mid with no intel. And with that mid B smoke in, I think they're going to be sold on a fake. Yeah, they're sold that it's B, but all these players are up Cat into an empty site. They have a free bomb plant. This is so smart. They're just pulling rotations around with those nades. Yeah, the issue is going to be Quirby all the way in the pit, all the way down long. They're planting in a safe spot, knowing that they don't have any long control, but Quirby could be a massive thorn to the side with the timing here, though Jaw seems to think better about it. Yeah, I oh, honestly, Kyle. the ZTs don't find an opening. They just need to save. That flash is perfect for their opening. Now Quirby creeps up. If he can find Jaw in the right timing, no. Looks to the left, right as Jaw swings his right. That kill coming in, and now Catwalk getting defended. It leaves T-Noodle last alive. T-Noodle goes down. And the bassoons grab themselves a second round in this one. That was a good round right there. I they, love they the way to... that they threw the mid-B smoke. Yeah, that, that fake just absolutely sold it for everyone, including us, right? If we didn't have vision of everything, we would have we would have been on that being a fake as well. Uh, not being yeah. a fake it, in that. All right, Oboe's still picking up the AWP here. Looks like Ja doesn't want to go for it. Oh, they're just not rushing into mid. Khan takes that duel. They find it. They also find the AKs of Ja and Bird, the two star players. Just absolutely going off. Gindet trades one back. Maybe he'll recover a gun. Instead, he decides to just go around. 
Matiz will just play it on A. Should be a done round, but Gindet can scavenge a little bit of nice weapons to save for the economy. Maybe he could drop his Deagle over, hold on to the AK in the next round, and they have, you know, a little chance if they stack those guns somewhere. Yeah, Gindet the only one left. Able to grab the gun, but I'm kind of surprised they weren't a little bit more aware of where he was. Um, Like, they, they someone got killed from it, right? Someone got killed yeah. from it. It's just... I mean... They can't risk putting more bodies towards him, though, because if it, it wasn't they the have bodies. someone swing out and die versus Gindet, then the other no, two, it's a 1v2 now. It's actually possible. It was way more of the uh, the util. Less less of the bodies, more of the utils. True, right, they so could Obo. Uh, Obo holds on to his op. Interesting to see him opping, just with how potent Jaw has been. I've seen it. I've felt the force of it playing Dust 2 up against them. Jaw just absolutely destroying us with 4Ks and the like. But now it's Obo, who's just going to be looking down mid, peering down mid. They should know that Gindet's a B player, but it looks like they want to go for a B round. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're they're going quick. Oh, my. Mother. Oh, this would be heard. Lord, he's 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 ready. His pistols could close. Gindet actually goes down, but instead it's Deceji with a triple. That 5-7 putting in work at close range. Obo's going to plant quickly before rotates come in. No, instead it's a fake. He wants to peek in for these kills, but his teammate Jaw has the rotates cut off. He's going in close. Oh, but his spray's a little awkward. He has to push to his pistol. Oh. Only gets one before he's traded, and Quirby could have clutched that one out if he just hit the one deagle shot. But instead, it's Obo who grabs a second kill in that one, takes him down. And they can breathe a sigh of relief. They did not lose it out to the 5-7 triple kill. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure they won that round. I'm not sure uh, how Dachi won that round right there. Dachi just destroyed him somehow. Yeah. Uh, ja going for this early peak here. Flash over. Not going to be able to do much. Molotovs. Everything's coming in. Oh, Pekan peaks. Grabs one. Obo quick, quick trade. There's many more here. And... Did he just chuck the bomb on top of the box? Okay, good, good to know. I, he pulled Quir it out to throw it, and I think thought thought better of it. Yeah, Quirby goes down there. Noodle grabs it. Just trades everywhere, but trades come out in favor of the bassoons. And then op yeah, out Dachi's, on he's, Dachi. Yeah, I mean, he's got the op. Max said before he's a good opper. Oh, but the player's already past his scope. That is rough timing as Bird gets that one. I think it's Ginda save simulator again. Oh, I, I feel like we're seeing every round Ginda go for a save. Oh, maybe he's not going for a save. Maybe he wants oh. an AK. Is he getting I mean, cheeky with this? Yeah, he's getting cheeky with it. I'm looking a little bit. He has util, but if he throws a nade, they know right where he is. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh. ooh the fact that he got one is nice. Asked an opener. I mean, they know where he is. Yeah, now he knows to save. Maybe he he's gets got a gun 8 long. HP. He's got 8 HP and he's going for exits on long. What is this man doing? He's going for the AK. There's a bunch of guns dropped. No, he's going for the save. No, That's he's going smart. for the knife in the back here. All right. I don't think the knife comes out, but... Oh, Obo is ready. <laughs> yep. No Good knife shit. allowed. No Pamas kill allowed. Obo just checks him. Sidelines him. Gindet goes down. Him and Dachi are the two leading the charge here. Whereas it is Bird, Jaw, and Obo. For the bassoons really coming out ahead tied up 5-5 but it's a save it should be 6-5 in favor of the bassoons here unless they rush b into a full b stack at least bombs not going there yes there are players in tons getting walked up on but josh should be ready for this he should have a multi-kill if he just plays his cards right three and no more but kyle is there to receive the last two Oh boy. And that should clean it up as long as. Oh, oh he's lit. Taken down. <laughs> that's noodle. spray. That's Somehow spray get a you don't second want on one. stream, man. That's the spray you don't want on stream. That's, that's a rough. little awkward, but it's okay. It's not like Tia Noodle's gonna 1v3 with 12 HP, right? 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 Yeah, this right? is. He's saving. He's saving, right? He's gotta be. Right? Obo oh, guy. Right? Oh, he's got the. Oh, oh he has the first. Oh, no. Oh no. He knows Everything's one's going wrong. He has a 1v1 on site, but Obo's Molly should shut him out. Instead, it's the smoke. He goes straight through it, spots him, damage onto Obo. That Molly has to Great do it. Molly. That Great Molly. Great Molly has to end it. Yeah, there he drops into CT okay. because he hears okay. it, gets shot. 
All right. All right. It was exciting Order has for been a moment. restored. <laughs> Calmness is back. Uh, and tires are on the screen. Oh, yes. <sighs> Just get to relax into this one. And then pick the pace up again. Jaw now on the op. Just holding that mid cross as they go for long. I believe that's... Or no, they go for cat. Xbox smoke coming in. This is just their same default as per usual. And here they go. I mean, it's been First a good contact default. up cat is bird. Yep, gets flashed in. Now he has it. Swings in and Corby misses a shot. That's uncharacteristic. The Those HD nades Molly will slow him down. Yeah. Yeah, stopping any aggression that was going to be on the catwalk. It's and important it Util baited out, though, so early in the round. Yeah, but look at the rotation that's happening. They've decided, They've said, that well, we're not getting in through cat. Let's just go somewhere else. And Oboe is already in upper tons. And Gindet's here to watch this, and so is, uh, so yeah. is da da Dachi. He's the one holding on to mid. They have that double op set up, him and Kirby. They're just waiting. They see nades come in. Gindet throws the smoke, but he gives away his position, so Oboe takes him down. Actually, no, that's Jaw from behind. Fast offing. But Pecan gets one through the door as they finally smoke it off. But it's going to be tough here. Four players to retake, two ops to retake. Will the CTs go for this? I assume they want to at least look in on it. Yes, T Noodle is fast through tons. Oh, no. Okay, Oboe checks it. He's got, he's yeah, got the sight in the right it. way. All right, so we got three coming in through the double doors, possibly, and we got T-Noodle coming in. They, maybe they just play here to oh, just... Oh, that's a good flash. They're up close. Their nades come out, but they get a molly in front of them. So they slow down. This next moment, this one or these two flashbangs they have nice left, kill. they have to go on. But instead, they don't use any flashbangs, and they're getting caught out. Jaws picking them apart with his AWP. Only Kirby left. Oh, oh. And he overflicks onto Barrel. Barrel gets that one, and the bassoons have a seventh. They're on their way to win out this half. There's three ops. There are, there are three ops here, Fuffy. There, there are three ops on the playing um, field. All right. We have a confirmation that they're... Okay, nope. He's getting one out. They're getting it well, out he, there. he tried to. He failed think, on throwing I the third op. I think they op. should just play cross with this. Like, if they don't have a cross smoke, which, I mean, they're deciding what to do on this buy here. They called the timeout. If they play these ops right to watch middle, giving one over to Bird so oh that he can... Do it. They're going to just destroy anyone that shows face through these doors. Maybe if there's a smoke, but even then, three ops, you're bound to get a tag, right? They've done the wrong thing here, right? There's another op on the ground. They, Oboe has the money to buy an op. They just need to buy one more, and they just replicate what Fnatic did okay, years an ago. Auto, an auto on the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jaws going for the long peak. Bird watching the mid cross, but they Ooh. spot no one because of that smoke. And Jaws is going to meet a couple of players. But none of them swing out. Instead, they're just playing close. And with that flash, they oh. go, and Jaw is forced back. That is long. So that's a creative way for them to take it. And now that they have it, they can just tuck one player in, and the rest leave, stack some other part of the map. The B, the other part of the map, is now open because Gindet has died on his push. Goes for info, shut down by the default. They should have a door smoke. Corby should not be too much of a problem here mid B say that he now has an off in his hands i'm assuming now he's this is problem. gonna be him just saving it i mean you'd think right you'd you think you think that would be the logical decision but he's looking to get involved here it's looking like uh like every school presentation at your high school in which they say, uh, getting in, get involved in clubs etc obo grabs a kill onto t noodle and it's a three on three now molly out Khan goes oh. down. Oh, spam it. Spam it, Obo. Spam it. Do it. Oh. Oh, so, so much close. damage. He's going. He's going. Oh, oh my god. Gosh. He gets that Gosh. one. Uh, oh, I guess we were informed on the correct pronunciation of his name. Like he makes only the correct decision times. to save. Has an op. The question is, does he keep it or does Kirby get it? He drops it over because he's so rich, he buys his own, yep. Now they buy up both teams on a full buy here. Both teams pretty much with full util across the board. Kits on all of these CTs. Yes, no head armor, but they're up against AKs. They get across, and again, it's this default for B control with an Xbox smoke for them to poke and prod at Cat. But Dachi's close and tags Kyle down to just 20 HP. 
That is information as well. It causes Kirby now to push up. But again, another miss. He's going negative right now. Hold up. Did my prop bet, like, actually maybe kind of come true? There's I mean, no he's chance. not completely shut out. But he's struggling a little bit. We did no see chance. him win that clutch, though, with the USP. We did, we did see him win the USP clutch. But since that point, we haven't seen a huge amount from him. Maybe he's but just not often today. Maybe this is not his thing. Oh, my. Okay, oh, never mind. We take it back. We take everything back. Kill. Yes, Obo gets one back, but that collateral is crucial for them. Oh, Dachi has no clue. Could be crucial. No, flicked on by Dachi. A big F in the chat there. Bird and Jaw, the last two left, and they're not together. Jaw's trying to get some long control. Bird's trying to get some cat control. They might be able to split here onto this A site. They might. It'll be a little bit tough. Just with how Jaw's completely trapped here in long, yeah. He's just forced all the way back, and so it's Bird who has to look for an opening. Kirby doesn't miss those. Yeah, that's a sitter. That's just a clean one. And now Jaw has to come up late into this one. 1v4. If it's anyone, I think he's the most explosive player on this team. It's not going to be easy for him. Just looking around the catwalk, trying to find someone. He's going to walk into Kirby, and Kirby is the faster of the two operas. Goodbye, Jaw. And hello to a sixth round for Legion of Boom. Here in the last round of the half, looks like there is money, but not great money. They buy up everything that they can. Jaw can drop or no, Bird does have an AK. They've got pistols. They've got enough util to make it work. And the CTs have everything they could ever dream of. Five deagles, an AK, two M4s, and two ops. And it's fast B. They're going in hard, and there's an opera to receive them at green box. He jumps up, but he doesn't hit his shot. He gets all he's gonna do so much damage, but they have his position locked down. Oh. They have Corby's locked down, and now they have the sight on lock. That door smoke, no picks coming in through it. Yes, two players are lit up, but Dachi just looking at the ground, going, What has gone wrong in this one? And the answer is they have no kills on the board yet. I mean, everything involves getting out with under 100 HP taken down between all the players is damn good. And especially with getting another kill onto Dachi. Pecan just flying out over the site, flying through the bat. And T Noodle goes through smoke and he can't get anything done there. And that's the half for the bassoons. Nine to six. A clean, clean half. They just strung together all those rounds after Legion of Boom got five in a row. They only really got one back there at the end. Really bringing the fight to them, showing an explosive T side. Jaw and Bird really showing in this one as uh, showing up in this one as I expected. But also Obo, Obert the Magnificent, sitting there 11 and 9. His impact very important as he's also the one calling. So he's got to be feeling good about his individual play. Absolutely, I I, I totally agree here. He is. Not the bottom frag, which is kind of what you hope for as an IGL. Like, let's be real here. Um, yep. I mean, as an IGL personally, I'm almost always the bottom frag, but I digress. They see none on the mid cross, and they have two going B. They're going to get into it. But just this fast B play, door smoke already coming through, flash high. But Jaw's gotten one, finally traded back. Kyle's gotten one, traded. They just go even in one. They're going to try to plant the bomb, but Obo's looking in. He's looking for a little something and immediately beheaded by Pecan50. Now that he's gone down these last two players, yes, they're probably going to look in on this retake as his pistols, but it's not going to be easy. So many angles to clear. Only two of them to do it together. Oh, yeah. that Molotov. That makes it so much harder now. Smoke lets them get past Car. Bird, oh, oh my Bird is so good. Two clean flicks. And now Pecan has to take cover. They have to get on the bomb. And Bird is ready to deny him this fight. Pecan wins it though. Now Pecan can run out. Barrel has a oh, kick. Kid. Barrel's diffusing, but Pecan is so close he has to drop the bomb and drops the round. Pecan 50 wins it despite a valiant effort from Bird with that clean 2K, the flick between one player to another. Oh my gosh. That was gnarly, man. That was gnarly. All right. Uh, okay. We you, have a shotgun. You, you wanted to see a shotgun. Kyle's got yeah, a shotgun. shotgun. We got shotgun. I mean, you talk about these long range angles. Honestly, I see the Nova as the long range shotgun. So it's heading to the right side. It's heading to B. He just sits right outside of these tunnels and he wins every fight. Unless it's against. Oh, he's pushing through but the But if tunnels. he walks oh, in, he oh has no God, head armor versus an SMG. It doesn't matter. But he has the first Question shot. Mark? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Shotgun's just better. It's a better weapon. 
So oh, Josh saw obviously that. scared off by the shotgun. They're gonna go towards A. But Josh should have seen their little footsies. Usually you have to subscribe to their OnlyFans to see that. And so All they're right. just gonna grab this info. Birds close mid doors. Look Two how players much room, back on site. Look how much room Kyle's take. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Molly but he outpassed it and he got the opening running through the flames that he put down in the first place. Oh, Bird but is Bird. fast on the flank though. Bird has dropped bomb. If Bird drops any more players, this could be very, very winnable for them. Especially now that Kyle is up behind, but Kyle's looking the wrong way. Tagged up by the scout, but not taken down. The shotgun's better than the scout at that range. And now Tingle's so late. One more comes in. Kyle with the Nova destroying heads. And Bird gets the last one. How? How did Kyle get that? Yo, I don't know what just happened, man. Kyle's a, Kyle's a monster. Man knows how to use a Nova. <laughs> He's a Nova monster. He's just oh destroying fools with that. He's not gonna keep it? <laughs> I'm kind of upset he's not keeping no, it. No, not keeping it. He wants the MAC-10. I guess he wants the mobility. I don't know, but still. I, mean, I think he's dropping it. He dropped it over. He wanted to buy himself into that. He got plenty of cash through that. Oh my. I am... I am shocked at how they got that one. I thought he was dead at long, especially when he got tagged by the scout, but then won the duel with a Nova. Overall impressive. And it's good signs for bassoons, as we talked about Ancient, the next map in this series is gonna be a very tough one for them going forward. So Dust 2 pretty much a must win, and they're on the track to win it now. They just have to win up against these pistols and two Galils from Legion of Boom. Smokes come through. Watch the cross. Obo goes through him and it doesn't matter. He grabs one. Don grabs the trade on him. Barrel grabs the trade Traded. on him. Kills going everywhere. But we're going to end up with a three on one with Bird picking oh, up two kills there. Bird's multi kill so Dachi important. Dachi the only one left. He's behind the car. Do they know? That's a good question. It's Bird no. It's awkward. Bird does go down, but Jaws immediately there for the trade. Jumping through with that SMG. Just Bird's multi-kill, so important there. The fact that both Veril and Obo get traded after they get one, and then Bird swings around and gets a double, immediately shutting down the sight tick. Yeah, I agree. And the fact that they were able to save both of the M4A4s right there, extremely important. Oh, yes. They can now feel good about their money, and they can feel good about hopefully getting a 12th only against these Deagles and Glocks. Creeping forward. Dachi and Kirby. Gonna look for a little something something. But there's no CTs looking to duel them. They don't want to take long fights. I mean, understandable when you've got two deagles and that's about all you've got. Going for the boost? Inside? Oh, oh no. Bird probably hears this, but I mean, if they get a player up close and Bird decides to push, that could be disaster for him. Instead, he nades and backs up. Good initial damage. Kirby looking for a little something to open this up, but his reload oh. prompts Jaws peak, and Jaw just destroys him. Jaw and Obo together getting those two picks, and the rest of these kills should just fall in line. Yep, Obo finds another. There's one more player there close. Nate to push him out. Nate's not going to really work very. Oh no, Obo. Oh no. Oh, oh no, Obo. Going down, but at least Bird's there for a kill. And Tea Noodle. Oh, no, Barrel. Oh, no, Barrel. <laughs> Tea Noodle's been fed two kills by just players running forward with it. While reloading with a knife out. That is rough. Right. Kyle right. finally cleaned things up. Clean up, man, Kyle. Grabs a 14th. They grab a 12th round. But now Legion of Boom have a bye. Legion of Boom have to make this one work. Because if they lose this one, they then lose the save after that. It's 14 for the bassoons, and that will not be a pretty sight for them to play up against. Absolutely not. Mid smoke goes down. Kyle and company able to cross. Obo's going to be the one watching mid here, and they do still do not have any investment into an op. Probably a good choice, considering they probably didn't have the money to do it, but regardless of any of that fact, a lot of mid control are going to be taken here by the T side. Pecan and company right there. Does it look like that's a mid to be smoke already? We're 15 seconds into the round. Yes, Obo's gonna flash through this. He's feeling hot. No, instead he plays back. 
now. Flash comes Team Boom found an entry. Obo comes through the smoke, shut down by Dachi. There it is. Legion of Boom finally have their first round. Without some heroics from Burjar Veril. It looks like they will save. Another classic one. This time the roles are reversed. It's Bassoons who've got to save after Legion of Boom take B. Two and the, quick clean entries. Yeah, five AKs. Rough to deal with, man. Uh, very oh. rough to deal with. As Raptor takes a screenshot. We just uh, chill. By the way, shout out to Raptor running all this production stuff. We love you. Absolutely. Mwah. Good. Shout out to you guys watching all this production stuff. We love you. Mwah. Also Can we ghosts. get some hearts in the chat? All right, Pecan's gonna haunt a little bit here, but with his two HP, he probably won't be able to do much. Yeah, it's not gonna be much sure for him. He's away to from do. the bomb. <laughs> they, yeah, they really want to make sure that he doesn't get hit by the bomb across the map, man. It's extremely important. It's obviously so important. You know, he was thinking of just getting on a plane and flying over to Mirage instead, so that he doesn't get blown up. Uh, I thought he was flying over an ancient. You know what? That would That's be the true. Next map. But I heard there might be some bombs there uh, in about I don't know 50 minutes. All right, well, they're going to try and get some mid control. Corby flashes himself through, so that way he does not get shot in the face by Obo. Uh, always a good call. Uh, and just looking to get a little bit of cat control. All four of his teammates are on long, and the cat control oh. is going to be denied immediately by Ja and his M4A4. That's what's so scary. Yes, Corby is very strong for this Legion of Boom side. However, both Ja and Bird... Our star players and Easy Barrel can pull out kills of his own, traded back by T-Noodle, though. And this is where Legion of Boom have to get a move on because all their players are in long, and if Bassoons just probe a little bit and get some map control, they'll figure this out. So yeah, yeah Cross Smoke's coming in. There's one deep, but do they have a smoke for close? They don't. No, they don't. Instead, they just have to run across. And so, Bird can spray for some damage. Gets tagged up himself, nade in. Great Does a nade. little bit. Kindet just cut off, but he's somehow still alive. 13 HP to his name. Bomb can go down. He flashes up forward. Bird jumping to spot someone. Doesn't find anything. He noodle on the ramp into the first point of contact, and he's the first kill. Gindet the second. Now they have the advantage for Legion of Boom, and another kill comes in for Gindet. 13 HP, but he is so powerful, and Bird has to clutch this one versus three. Make it one versus two. He keeps up both players close, and Gindet finds another kill in this round. He is the clutch player. He was tagged up so low, but he is just hitting heads with that AK. Hitting heads are important in this game. Uh, I mean, it, there's there's plenty of people that we can show to prove that point, but uh, that good turnaround right there from the T's able to get that round where they realistically should not have gotten that round, right? Realistically, that is true, but... I mean, a few well-placed shots, and they get it. Obo fast into lower. Oh, he's he in the stupid corner. Flank or cut off anyone that pushes up close to him. Yeah, he's in the very stupid corner. But very smart if your opponents don't check it. However, I instead, said the they check corner. me and realize it's clean. Oh, but, okay. Oh, oh, he gets some piece of 50 kill. But oh. flank on the flank, Pecan 50 gets that one. But now all these pistols know where Pecan is. Yeah, he there's a flank on the flank on the flank now. Really yeah, the flank, 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 Pecan goes for one on the job. Pulls out his Glock and just backs up to safety. His teammate's there to help him hold. Oh, Chase Pecan. Oh, they know oh, it. They, they know they he's heard here. the reload. Pecan's got one. There you go for no Pecan. More, no more for Pecan. They finally quiet him. They finally grab that gun. Veril can save it. Bird can search for another gun. As they should there have a buy up in, in the next for the bassoons. But now Legion of Boom only with a two round deficit. They're bringing things close. Yeah, Bird's got one. He's got the gun, and he, he gets out? He's gonna get out. All right, Quirby ain't gonna be able to do anything against this, and T-Noodle drops. I mean, not the huge, like, not the worst thing for the economy ever, but you never want to see a player drop when they definitely didn't need to. Yeah, I mean, I would say he didn't want to give that gun over to his opponents. However... He was the one, uh, or however, Bird was able to scavenge that AK, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. All right, Fast cat mid presence. Control. Oh Kirby's my down, goodness! And he sees the off of Obo. Okay. And Obo sees matter. the head of T Noodle, flicks him right in the shoulder. That's a clean opening. 
So, Fluff, you remember how we did all those pregame stuff about how Jaws the opera and Oboe's not, and he how he's just a secondary opera? Well, they can double up here on this map. It's yeah. It, it's, you know, it's really scary when Jaws not even the one opping. It's terrifying. I mean, I know John can pick up the op, but because Oboe's over there towards mid, he probably wants that first one if he's yeah. towards mid or cat. Yeah, it's it's probably true, and Corby gonna chuck the mid not gonna chuck the mid to be smoke. It's gonna lie. Chillin'. They're slowing Absolutely it down. They're lie. slowing the round down. Now the smoke can come in. He can flash in if he'd like for his team, or they can just walk up. That smoke. No, down. they're faking that. That's a fake yeah. smoke right there. And Obo's gonna Obo's called oh, the same thing knows. so much. Now he sees oh, the he cat knows. nade come in. And this should telegraph that it's a hit into A. However, there's two players coming out long as well. Bird gets one, traded out, but he's seen bombed. Now they know where it is. Now Veril can get one on the site before eventually going down. And the fact that Gindet has killed Oboe means that now the site is theirs. The bomb can be planted. And it's another two on two. It's a retake. It's another one here. But Gindet now has a molly. Before we saw him just headshotting everyone from the site position. Does it again. One more headshot on Jaw, who's running through the Molotov. Now it's just Kyle. No kid on him. He can probably pick one up on a fallen teammate. Get nod in his head. He oh. knows he can get this one, and yes, he is looking on fire. Okay. Even knifed by his teammate, but he still lives with one HP left. They gotta be laughing at that one. They gotta be smiling, because now the economy of bassoons is broke, and Legion of Boom just needs one more to tie it. Can we, uh, can we, can we check getting this config right there and make sure God mode isn't on? <laughs> no, I think it's Buddha. That's the one that brings you down to one HP. Okay, yeah, Buddha mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, match pause here. I'd assume this comes out from the suits. Uh, um, I believe it would say this might be attack. Can Not get sure. A, people in our ears, can we get a confirmation whether this is a tech or attack? Okay, so according to our lovely friend Raptor, it appears to be a technical pause that we are technically in the middle of. Technically. Only technically, though. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's disconnected. That's, that's important. Uh, frame issue? Dot, dot, dot. Could be. Maybe somebody just, like, unplugged their keyboard. I feel that one. Oh, and there goes Bird. Well, I guess Rest we got a bird. Through. He can rejoin well, well, assume, here soon, I hope. I assume the the tech through is because bird isn't here. Oh, oh no, oh oh no. Oh, oh we're no. having a connection problem with the server. Oh no, something's going on. We'll see what happens. Eleven twelve. This match close as ever, and we get tech problems. What happens? What do we do? Do we swap to? I think I think we have a backup server. Which is always good. I'm not sure if we're going to be true. using it. We do. Can we get our resident server expert in? Should we swap to the BRB? Should we swap to the desk? What's going All right, on? Alright, we're going we're gonna to swap to break here. We will be back in a little bit. Uh, yeah.
All right. Well, we got technical issues. We're going to be back into it soon. Soon. But before then, we just get to chill with you guys. We can do the pizza cast if we want, or we can talk about these stats that we're seeing up. These are the, uh, the Legion of Boom ones. Kirby, of course, leading the way. The rest of his team behind. Interested to see how this one goes. I'm interested to see where we go at this 11-12 scoreline. For those of you just tuning in now, yes, it is 11-12. Legion of Boom just trailing. And Kirby, the one that you see on your screen is the guy with a crazy high rating. He's actually struggling a bit. So I think if he comes alive, they can win this one. But if not, Bassoons could take the one-round lead that they have now and string it into a victory. Absolutely. And who are we seeing that are do that's doing really well on the bassoons, right? We see Bird is absolutely killing it, right? A player that we didn't think that would be like 100% absolutely killing it is Obo, who is doing extremely well for that team, right? Yeah, he's up in that third spot. He's uh, chilling. You know, Kyle and Veril, I see more of the supportive elements uh, playing some of those anchor roles, some of those you know, entry less optimal roles, whereas, you know, Obo, he picks up that op. He plays a little bit around himself as the caller. And so right. it's he's the one who's really important to find success in this one. And we're back interrupt into you this here. one. We've got our clear liquids refilled. We've got the server restarted. We're getting back in. Oh, we're getting back in. And I am hyped to get back into this one as we're just so close. And yeah, everything gets reset. Bassoons now, they probably need to save this one, so we should be tied up. We should be on course if rounds continue to go like this for an overtime. Always good to see overtimes coming through. Oh, were you around to see the Dust 2 overtime? Where JM Dodds drop like 50 kills on Dust? No, but I was around for the quadruple overtime against uh, our guy Max. It's just, it's exciting to see these these overtimes come in. It's exciting to see games where individuals really pop off and make storylines. We began CSC Combines with an exciting game like that. That's where I really just, I was casting and I felt in my moment. And here on another Close Dust 2 match, I feel so excited to jump into this one, which should be happening soon. I hear all those chat ticks. So obviously they're going live, question mark? Live? Yeah? Okay. But we should be able to get into this one soon. Uh, do you have any predictions? Do you have any thoughts on where the T's will take it or if the CT's will stack with these pistols? I mean, for a really long time, this looked like my prediction was going to be right. That the like, Bassoons would win this map and we go to three maps. Um, I'm scared now. <laughs> yep. You know, <laughs> I, I'm feeling good because I know that, yes, Kirby is a star and he can carry this team but they have the structure and their individuals can really show up and like gindat and dachi are both popping off pecan too a quiet 18 frags to get to the top of this scoreboard and here we are map control quick obo just as quick into lower tons he's in the corner making that play again but he's checked by kirby like i said before playing against kirby is terrifying because he seems to always know where you are and pistols only for the bassoons. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just going to be choose a place and pick it and stay. Uh, looks like they're going to choose to be split up a little bit for right now. Ja on the A site alone. Now on the A site down six feet under. He's the only one with a machine gun into this round, even though it's basically people. And VIP Barrel's going to see somebody. Going to hit a tag through the Walpacon down to three health. And Dachi. Grabs the kill onto Barrel through the doors. Just left onto Kyle and Bird. I swear, Bulldog is Kyle, even though it says Bulldog. And we might need to refresh the HUD. But we'll figure that out later. Right now, though, what's been figured out is the T side for Legion of Boom. They got it. They got it cleanly into A site. And now it's just a question of will any of these AKs get torn out of their hands and saved by the CTs? I mean, they hope not. Woodwinds hope very much so. And there's yeah. two players with rather low HP, though. And and actually, honestly, I might, if I were them, go down with the bomb on purpose, or even both just of run them, pit where your teammates are holding. Both of them are in the car position. 
Looks like Khan is sprinting towards that, and looks like yeah, they're all gonna Noodle's the only one. No guns should be lost, and yeah, no guns are lost. They play it very smart, and they very cleanly get that one. Ah, uh, yes. Classic Kyle auto-muted. I mean, what? 12-12 uh, here. Legion of Boom bassoons now both on a full buy. It's going to be interesting. Which of them pulls out ahead here? This Legion of Boom will still have a buy, but if bassoons lose this one, their money will be very tough. Feral smoking into that long door as they just tuck. Flashes pop, but no one is there. Instead, they're ready to go B into this one player who's left to defend on the site. All alone is Kyle. He's got nades, but he's already used his smoke, and if he uses his molly while simultaneously taking this duel, it'll be so awkward because there's so many players ready to just pounce on his position. But just oh, oh, she's great looking timing. the wrong way. Great and Kyle timing. gets a double. T-Noodle, though, trades two back of his own. Oboe going down, now the bomb going down on site, and Kirby has the perfect lurk. This guy knows how to do everything, and he can be in the slipperiest positions possible. Right now, he's just mid, cutting off anyone who decides to go lower. And he can flank as this retake begins to come in. A smoke in front of the doors will put out the molly and allow Jaw to creep close, but Gindet's double is so important. Now Jaw forced to come through and Gindet triples up. There it is. Legion of Boom find a 13th. Bassoons, again, again, their money is broken. They're struggling. You know, I was going to say something about how there are only two people on site. How, while well, Pizza a hard site to retake, that three on two, you know, that the, the CTs might have had that. I was wrong. Deagle's coming yeah, out for Gindet. the bassoons. Gindet just said no. Gindet He's says destroying. no. Wait, now I'm, it looks like oh, he's wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Did, what? did Dachi just no scope bird through mid doors? Excuse me. If we had instant replay, I would be begging for that one right now. I. What the heck was that? All right, uh, uh, to whoever whoever can do that, uh, tell them to download the demo after this game and get us the replay of that. I need to see that immediately. Yeah, step. Can immediately you download that? Oh, that goodness, there's play there's so many people. Map too. Oh, wow. So many deagles. Well, that's an AK save. Pecan. Yeah, it's a, it's, they got something. They got an AK. Obo also carries over his kit. Hal and Veril can go look for a little something more. Or just go down to Kirby, who's holding strong in pit. They have A, they have Bomb down. Legion of Boom now looking for a 14th. And even though Kirby has not come alive, the rest of the team's stepping up to, well, it looks like so far, win this one out. Although it all really comes down to the next round, where both teams have a full buy. And it's really the Bassoons' last full buy in this one, if they lose it. Yeah. Oboe's just really trying to save this AK. I'm not sure Noodle's gonna let Noodle's him. Noodle's hunting, oh. he has his knife out. <laughs> yeah, shot in the back of the head. Can't do much there. Oboe uh, can just back up, hold on to his gun. Just chill there, crouching in the corner. All right. And he's got Legion of Booms pulling ahead. Yeah, but the bassoons have plenty of money. The AK's gonna get dropped over. Double ops have been purchased. Kyle and Oboe with the double ops. Cut. Kyle, I I know Kyle will probably wants that one to look back into B, but they should give it to Jaw. Jaw is just so impactful. Like, rotate Oboe over or something to help B. He doesn't have to go for a mid pick like that. Instead, though, it's just Jaw swinging, or no, Bird swinging out. He mollies, but Kirby's already out. Oh, the Kyle's got one. Fantastic angle hiding around the side. Kyle gets out off by Dachi, and now they think that Long is clear, but instead Kirby is up already. He could walk this whole way. He has a fight onto Bird, and he wins it out. Now, A site is theirs for the taking. Everything besides Cat under lock and key. They just need to figure it out. They just need to go forward, and they're grouping up to do so. Barrel, Oboe, both with the crossfire here. Kind of force them to just kind of stick to a site. I like this read from Bassoons. They've stacked it all over towards oh. mid and A, and now they should stack it all towards A that Jaw finds oh, them. Oh, Jaw! He grabs the one. one onto Kirby. Will he find any more Oboe? Oh! 
just does not find anything swinging out, but instead it's Veril with a crucial double! Gindet trades back, and now it's Veril in Gindet. Veril only on 11 kills, while Gindet, the top fragment for his side, oh, does he matter. get another no! Veril says, I don't care if I'm on the bottom of the board, I'm on the top of this round, and bassoons stay in this one, 13-14. That was some good wordsmithing there, man. You gotta give it to us some good wordsmithing. Woo! Been working on it, you know? Gotta be ready for the Smith the elegance the of this grand final. Yo, Jaws got a FAMAS. This round's thrown. The Wolven Gang has thrown the round. <laughs> Alright. Corby already out of the long doors after the smoke barrel throws. Her has check. to be it's ready, gonna though. take it. Ooh, didn't Whew. even lose a point of health there. Corby just getting shut down now. Yeah, I think he's just really struggling individually. He's calling good, his team's playing well, and the other individuals are showing up to make this an even game. Yeah, Skindet and Dachi each combining together. Jar only gets one on his FAMAS. I mean, it's good for a, ma or for a FAMAS, but not good enough. I was gonna say, what more do you want from a FAMAS? Winning, staying ahead, oh, Dachi another out. trade. These trades are just so important. The fact that Legion of Boom, every time a player goes down, they get one back. Now Bird. Stuck back, Gindet can get close to site, drop a smoke, Dachi can plant, and he can defend, and they'll just set up on site. One in Goose, one mid site. Oh, instead they decide they want to go aggressive. They want to get in on this one fast, so they go forward towards Cat, and Dachi hits his shot. That is clean, that is good decision making from the two of them. However, it's only Gindet that goes forward. Dachi backs into sight, so he gives up a kill to Bird, and now Bird has a kit. Oh, no. Bird has two in the round already. The Molly's like gonna be tough wrong. for him to get to this bomb. There he is, he's on it, he's tapped it, and he's walking forward, but the flash from Gindet is perfect for him to headshot him. Gindet and Dachi together winning that one out, leading in frags here, 25 and 26 apiece, and Legion of Boom just need one more to carry them over the line. They need one more to carry them over the line, but the bassoons have another shotgun out. We saw what they did last time with a shotgun. Uh, it was not good things, dude. It was uh, not. Were... Kyle somehow got that multi kill, and again, he's B. He gets flashed, but he's gonna tuck close with the shotgun. Luckily yeah. for them, they don't have to go into the terrifying auto shotgun. Instead, they go into long and win the trades. T Noodle with a double. He's just so impactful coming in behind the rest of his team, trading them out. And now they should have a site if they want it. Kyle's coming up below, and this round really rests on if he can get Kirby, and if Bird can stop the site take. Bird smoked off so he can't, and Kyle goes down, meaning it's all on to Bird. One versus four for this first map, and Ancient up next. It's going to be a hard one for them to win, so Bird really wants to get this one. It's going to be so tough. He's out. Dachi's there, but he at least gets damage and stays alive somehow. Dachi missing his shot, uncharacteristic for how well they've been playing this game. They don't really need to hit the shot. They just need to stay alive, and there it is. Kirby takes matters into his own hands, takes Bird down. One high-rated player to another on their team. There it is, Legion of Boom, 16-13, to 13, coming out victorious on this one. Absolutely, absolutely. We're moving to Ancient next. Moving to Ancient next. So that's going to be that's going to be 1-0. Legion of Boom up against the Bassoons. Uh, boys. Oh my Ooh. god. Spicy and listen, I just I don't want to I don't want to big myself up here, but our boy Dachi pulling out the op, pulling out some frags, make it, getting it done. I listen. I I expected nothing less of him, and uh, I got to see it. So wow, wow, what a game! I even had time quickly to run and grab some pizza because Fuffy uh, had to bring it up, and so I got, I got, I've I've been hydrated, I've been fed, and uh, I'm ready to kind of talk about what we just saw there. That looked. Uh, it looked chaotic at times, and there were some serious momentum swings. What would you guys think? Was it was it was it clear the whole way through, or kind of kind of muddy I mean, as it looked? Based on my prediction, it was clear the whole way through, but <laughs> I definitely started to doubt myself a little bit in there. Bassoons strung together rounds; they won their T side out convincingly, mm -hmm. and 
Kirby really just was not showing up at all, struggling throughout this one. I mean, he played good. Don't, don't, like, don't make this me, be me saying he's a bad player or anything. <laughs> he just did not play great, not up to that 1.34 rating that we've seen from him all throughout the regular season. Still, though, he got the kills that he needed, and he made the right calls for the rest of his team to just manhandle them there at the end. They just had all of the trades go their way. They got the map control that they wanted. Their execs were great. And they just, they played perfectly together to bring it back on their T side. Well, and, and yeah, like I said, bassoons, right? They, they, they came out, they came out f swinging and they, they took that, that lead in the second half and then suddenly momentum changed. What do you think? What do you think happened there, Mecca? How do you think we, we, we got to where we got at the end of that game, despite the fact that the bassoons were in the lead? So I'm going to answer your question, but I'm going to pick a point first, which is I said okay. we were going to see shotguns. I was <laughs> twice. And, and that's once, the reason. <laughs> once, they were extremely impactful into the round, and I'm really happy I brought shotguns. Okay, let's talk about the second half, because that's where things kind of went down for the Woodwind game. Right? They had a really good T-half. What was it, up 10-5, I believe, at the end of the half? 9-6, somewhere in there? Really good T-side. Definitely went out that T-side. The CT side looked a little iffy, right? And I don't know if it... I, it's a little too early for me to tell whether it was the CT side looked iffy or the T side was just really good, right? Because there's always th that that's a thing that you can have, right? Like you, you can have the best CT side in the world and it doesn't matter. You lose every aim duel to a team. Um, it was it, it's in a kind of a weird position there, right? Um, I think that the double op setup should have been pulled out a little bit earlier. As Fuffy said while we were casting, I'm a little curious to why Ja wasn't the one given the second op. Um, th there's a lot of kind of just questions I have, but also a lot of it was just Gindet did stuff that Gindet just did. Like there, there was nothing you can do yeah. about that. Like <laughs> he got multi site holds that basically shut down mo many retakes, sort of in the middle of the second half, right as the momentum changed. Like he was the one leading that charge. Yeah, it, especially site takes that he shouldn't have got. Yeah. Like, there were a couple in there that definitely should not have. It, like low HP and guarding a site, you shouldn't be able to hold that, right? There's a lot of angles you got it, and he was able to get it. Um, it comes down to a lot of fifty fifties, to be honest, right? Yeah. There's and, there and are, there's parallel universes in which the bassoons won that game. That that's yeah. it's not even it's not far fetched to say that there are parallel universes that the bassoons won that game. It's well, just, and. and like you said, they they were in they were in position to take it, and they they were looking good for a while. But it's it's really why we we love Counter Strike so much is that it's it really comes down to those make or break moments where it could go either way, and and we we saw that today, or I guess with this first game, with this first game in mind, we got Ancient coming up next, boys. What are we what are we thinking uh, with 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 the performance that we saw from Legion of Boom? And kind of the, the the worries that we had before. What do you, what do you guys think? I because I I'm expecting. Well, per, actually, I'll, I'll I'll let you know what I'm expecting after Fuffy and Mechatronic tell me that I'm wrong. So please go ahead, <laughs> Fuffy. What do you think? I mean, mine's obvious. I think yeah. that Legion of Boom sweep this one. I even have a demo prepared uh, to show an example of just how tactically strong they are on their T side of Ancient. How they can bring it together, but first, I want to see Mechatronic. How are you and your Woodwind Gang bias going to spin this <laughs> one in their favor? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna be honest. Before I was picked this season, I was all about the Brass Gang. So just mm. I want some plausible deniability here. If okay, it comes yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. Um, I I think that the Legion of Boom is gonna take this map, right? I I said it from the beginning. This was gonna be a two-one. That in order for this to work, the bassoons have to pick up dust too. I, I think that that's the important map for them to pick up. I think you go into overpass, it goes 50-50. The other thing is, is we, do, we we talk about this a lot, but we'll talk about mental state, right? We talk yeah. about how do you feel after a loss? How do you feel after a loss? Those guys got to feel terrible after that loss, right? You, you, you go so far up on your T side, you have such a good T side, and then you fall flat to somebody having an extremely good performance on the CT side. You got to hype yourself up after that. You got to you got to make sure you're good after that because otherwise it pulls over into the next game. You don't want that to pull over into the next game, especially when it's not your map choice and it's not your home map. Very true. Very true. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. Forever the optimist in me. I just I, I what I want to see and what I think that it's possible we might see. We might see a little bit of a bounce back from the bassoons. You know, it's it's. Uh, 
Cage. You can never count people out in this in this beautiful game. And, and what do you think? What do you think the factors would have to be, Fuffy, for the bassoons to to really come back and and take away a map that they probably shouldn't win? Individual performance and crazy plays. I think that's yeah. the only way that they get through this one is if Jaw, Bird, Obo all just start peeking stuff and winning their duels. If they can disrupt the game plan of Legion of Boom, it becomes possible. But I think if they let that game plan come into fruition, Legion of Boom have this in the bag. I'm going to contradict here as we're about to get into the game, but I'm still going to contradict because they've got a whole knife round to play out. I think that it it's it's it doesn't have to be let more of the like the stars on the bassoon showing. I feel like it's got to be more of the shutting down the stars on Legion of Boom. We saw that they shut down the stars last game, especially on their T side, and that worked, right? Yeah. Like they shut down the stars on the CT side, and it worked. I I'm excited to get into this game, right? We're we're gonna see good things happen here, regardless of what happens. Um. But I think shutting down the stars is extremely vital to doing anything. Um, and I think I'm just getting word through the to the beep 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 through the <laughs> through through the old headphones that we're about to see uh, the demo uh, that Fuffy just brought up. And so, uh, Fuffy, you want to take us away whenever it decides to show up here in a moment? Uh, yes. Like, if we swap over to that one, we can jump into this this demo here. Now, I basically just want to. Uh, talk about the uh, the tactical depth that we have here. Let me uh, reload uh, this one, this demo. I want to talk about the tactical depth that we have for Legion of Boom and just their ability. In round one here, we see them go forward. Uh, they take A, but more importantly, once they have this cave control, Corby smokes off left side, they flash in, and they have the site together for free. They get bombed down in round two, however. I'm speeding through things because I've obviously want to get into the game. They head towards A, and they throw, the, they throw this A exec that they have, lining up two smokes down here. They're going to block off two uh, key points in the site, allow them essentially to just isolate a fight onto CT and win this one out. But then also, it's not just these set execs that they have that work in their favor. In this round, they realize that they're up against a worse buy coming in from the Shoguns. And so instead, they're just going to go fast. They throw flashes, they impromptu smoke off CT instead, and they just take it immediately. I think the fact that they have different faces that they can show, that they have strong strats that work for pistol, anti-eco, full buy rounds, up against force, all kinds of different opportunities that they can take advantage of just show the depth of play that they have on ancient and i think it's really the reason that they are such heavy favorites coming into this map cheers fuffy thanks for that one uh, it's always it's always good to see a uh, <laughs> an actual analysis of the uh, the games previous because god knows uh, i was not aware of any of what you just talked about so i'm glad someone out here is actually keeping track um and it looks like we're it's almost that time. We're just missing one. Uh, what's that? Legion of Boom, or no? I think the colors oh, one reversed. One bassoon's player. One bassoon's we're player. Close. We are we are missing, but we're almost there. Um, what are we? Wow, man, this is. Uh, I'm a little. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I. We talked about it. We talked about getting three maps, and you guys are really painting a, a dark picture here for the the bassoons. Um, what do you Thank think? You. I guess. Uh, yeah, it happen. is. Anything could happen. I guess if they are, if they are to take this map, and I know we kind of talked about this already, and we talked about what has to go right for the bassoons. What has to go wrong for Legion of Boom to um, to really let this one slide out of their hands and go to overpass? I think that Quirby has to not show up again. Yeah. That's important. I think Gindet just needs to come off the high that he was just feeling off that last game where he just yeah. absolutely murked to every single human, right? <laughs> I think that those are your two win conditions, right? But if Gin Dead mm -hmm. is still performing at the same level he was performing last game, I, I'm not sure that there's a huge amount of the book. Now, mind, the bassoons could have practiced uh, Ancient, like, 24-7 for the last week, right? Or however long they've had the veto, right? They could have practiced, and they could be coming to this with a totally new game plan that we have absolutely no clue of, right? Totally possible. But in the realm of possibility, in the normal realm of things that should probably happen, you're going to kind of need a miracle for this. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, God. it's going to be tough. Buffy, what do you it's think? Gonna be tough. I think if Kirby stays quiet, 
if Gindet, Dachi don't show up in the way that they did previously, they'll struggle. But on their T side, I think just like on Dust 2, how they brought it back on their T side, on this one on their T side, the individuals should be able to activate. And they're actually starting T side, which in my opinion helps them. Yes, a CT side start is nice because it forces your opponents to sort of get into their groove, and if they're not feeling it, they can struggle. But they just came off that high, just like Mechatronic said, of just great individual plays on Dust 2. And T side's where the individuals shine, so they can just keep that up rolling into the next map. Yeah, and as you said, it, you, it came off the individual plays on Dust 2. Dust 2 is a very individual, individualistic map. Right? It's not. As much as Counter Strike is always a team game, right? Dust Two is the map which, in which you can say, "Nah, this ain't a team game anymore. This is the <laughs> this is the Gindet show, right?" Yeah. <laughs> Ancient's not that map. Ancient's a map you have to play tactically. You have to have everybody involved. You have to be pushing for multiple angles at any point. And if the pursuits can't do that, then they can't do it. If yeah. the if the Legion of Boom don't have one of the don't have everybody show up, right? You have to have everyone show up on Ancient. You know, have everyone show up. They're not going to win this. It's just it's it's very simple. It's a tactical heavy map. Well, and, and and especially since this is such a new addition to the map pool, and I I wonder if we'll see a few more tactical flubs than we did in that dust game, where you know maybe the timings on some utility or some of the rotates, or even honestly, I bet you it's going to happen. Some of the calls are just going to not be not, not be right from time yeah. to time, and you might see people wandering around the map with their <laughs> you know their 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 heads down looking at the ground just because it's um it's still a very new addition despite I mean, having played it for a season. I mean, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm pretty sure Fluffy and I both are, have a call on map next to us yeah. while we're doing this. We, um, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be like, he gets the kill in Donut. I mean, Rubik's Cube. I yeah. mean, Totem Pole. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I I do not envy you. Um, I just can I can pray that Friday no one plays Ancient because I will be absolutely useless. I think Donut is maybe the only call that I actually know on this. The map. only important call, the right? Twitter yeah. Post. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's I don't even think it's like it's like goes under four names, right? Like Donut apparently goes under like Lara. Oh um, yeah, I've seen like that Lara one. Lara Croft. Yeah, I assume like yeah, curator yeah. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Goes under Temple. Is weird. I don't know, this but time. I feel like there's another temple elsewhere on the map. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, going into A, like when they added that spot in, now we call that temple as well. Mm -hmm. And then what do we call? What do we call the area? I think it's near B. That's got like the dig site in it. I've heard dig. I've heard jaguar. Um, I like to call it. I believe lamps because there's lamps in there. Oh. And then okay. like top mid, I'd call like candles because there's candles in there. <laughs> I feel like you get that confused all the time. Yeah, maybe. It is I, weird. What's What's also really interesting is that you don't have, because it's such a new map, you don't have places like Get Right. You don't have you don't have, you have, all true. the names are just purely like. Okay, what does this look like? Have you seen that one Brokey Clutch that he got on B site? I think that I spot not. just outside of the temple on B has okay. to be called Brokey. <laughs> okay. Right. I right, will. I'll, I'll put it forward to the to the uh, to the CS:GO gods, and hopefully mm -hmm. they'll accept your uh, your offering. What what do you what, what's what's your sacrifice going to be? Uh, I will sacrifice all of my aim, which I did not have to begin with. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so there's no sacrifice happening. So what 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 is this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, holy moly! A server restart, and we're still missing an entire team. Um, yeah, the soons aren't here. Where you at, Woodwind Gang? They're scared, man. They're they're worried. They they they're taking as much time as possible. Just running some smoke execs right now and uh, yeah, they, in, 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 doing some DM. Yeah, they pulled up the Y prac map for ancient. Yeah, they're just they're exactly. they're they're chucking all the smokes, all the flashes. They're ready for this, man. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Oh, and we're losing <laughs> we're losing Legion of Boom players as well as we speak. Maybe they're swapping oh, back. Man. Do we? Okay, oh, actually oh. though. Actually, it looks like we might be swapping servers again. In, oh, in game with Kirby once, fun story. We were playing a game versus them, and Kirby said in voice chat, "Yo, guys, we're swapping to PP Bison, the different server." Oh. Half the people on the server, including his own team, disconnect. Oh. PP Bison <laughs> is not one of the CSC servers. Like we hilarious. have him named oh. after Op and Deagle and stuff, but there's no, there was no PP That's Bison hilarious. one. That's and everyone I think that should be a confused. server. <laughs> I think there should be a server called the PP Bison, which is only for the PP Eaters. And, oh, mm -hmm. oh, my favorite, my favorite minor team who sadly yeah. <laughs> are not in the finals. 
Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We could have seen PP eaters. <laughs> oh man. Um, I mean, kind of running out of ideas here, boys. You, I, I mean, maybe instead of tech pauses, I can now talk about toppings on the pizza. Maybe this is the maybe this it, is the moment in time. Like it is technically yeah, a tech it pause. Is, we are in a tech pause. Actually, we're not breaking any protocols. Uh, Fuffy, though, yeah. you had pizza. You wanna you wanna like, give me I a actually, rundown of what you had? I just had cheese pizza. I wasn't the one that ordered oh. it. I would have gotten okay. some, you know, pepperoni, salami, maybe a little bit of mushrooms on there. Okay. You know, good stuff. But yeah, I just had good old cheese pizza. It was great. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, I had to go with just the absolute classic, in my opinion, with is uh, pepperoni, green peppers, banana peppers, mm -hmm. and mushrooms. It's like a, it's like a better Hawaiian pizza in my in my opinion. Where it's you don't you kind even of have don't mention the name. Hawaiian. Well, I don't. I I hate Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> okay, but, good. Um, I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah. Here. No. Yeah. Fuffy, of course, loves Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> No, no. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> okay. actually, that sounds good. I don't know if I'm a, a a big fan. I mean, I know I'd enjoy the green peppers, but I don't know if I'd enjoy uh, other pep. I, I haven't, I haven't tried that. I've had like oh. green peppers, and I've had uh, pepperoni, mushroom, all that. But yeah. I might have to try that sometime. The the banana peppers just add because un unless you really can't handle any spice, they add just a little bit of a, oh, yeah. a tang Ooh. to it. That because. At the end of the day, they're not that spicy unless you're no. unless you're unless you think mustard is spicy. Then then <laughs> then there's then there's a real problem. Um, holy moly! Yeah, this is uh, we're we're really gonna have to just spitball here for the next okay, five wait, minutes at Megatronic least. Megatronic pizza toppings. I jumped in to yeah, talk about this okay, pepperoni, true. but we gotta figure this out. Pepperoni definitely, green peppers definitely. I mean, red peppers. I mean, just, just peppers in general. Like, let's be real yeah. here. It's not gonna subtract if it's red versus green. Uh, banana <laughs> peppers definitely. I'm not a big mushroom fan, though. Mm -hmm. Olives, oh, super good on pizza. Uh, yeah. I don't like olives on their own. Olives oh. on pizza. Well, I guess it's the salt, right? It's yeah, probably, yeah. yeah it, it helps a little with it. Um, and generally, I put a little bit of sriracha on top. Mm, okay, I know yeah. I'm or weird Frank's. That one. Frank's though. Yeah, just generally Ooh. hot sauce. Yeah, good, Ugh. good vibe there. Uh, but I'm... I have, I have a question for you all. Yeah. So. What's our feeling in Chicago deep dish pizza? Puffy? It's <laughs> completely different than pizza. It's not why I personally enjoy pizza, but I think it'd be good. I just, when I eat it, I wouldn't really think of pizza. It's an entirely different category to me. Hmm. Just like, I enjoy the the crispy, like thin, the thin pizza. Yeah. New York just, style. Like, you, get, you get that New York, you get that crunch. Yeah, like you get that. What are you, what are you talking about? Right, yeah, you get exactly. that. Exactly, right I like some like, yeah. wood fired oven sort of mm. just mm, yum. But I understand I, the appeal of having just yeah, lots yeah. of cheese and lots of it's bread and just ah. Uh, so, oh. oh please, please, Max, give your opinion on deep well, dish I pizza. Well, I was. First, I had to I have to agree with Fuffy in saying that thin pizza, like as thin as you can get it, is generally the best. I'm not a flatbread person. I know that's that's that yeah. that's something that kicks around out there, but it's. Not my style, but I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever had a real deep dish pizza before in my life. I've never yeah, been to no. Chicago, and I've never been in a place where it's actually been served. I don't know if that's just a Canada thing. We don't have that up here. And I'm sure I could probably find a place, but my life is worse off for it, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'm from New York, and I've managed to have Chicago deep dish. Okay. And I've been shunned from my state at this point. <laughs> for saying that I prefer been excommunicated. Chicago deep dish. Oh, my God. I know. I just I just got a raptor in my ear. The man yeah. who lives half an hour away from me on a normal day basis, an hour from me when I'm at college, saying that he also shuns me. So I've been shunned by my state. It's a well known Wonderful. thing. Wonderful. <laughs> Move to Jersey. You might oh, you might, God, you might no, have a better time. Not the <laughs> nope. uh, every time oh. I'm in I'm at the Jersey Shore with family on vacation, going for that delicious thin East Coast pizza yeah. just Shout out! Whew. Shout out to everybody living in Jersey right now. Our oh, heart goes God, out I to hate you. All of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, no. Okay, I'm not going that far. I gotta stay somewhat impartial. Um, but uh, my my heart goes out to you. Can we just yeah. replace the uh, the thing here that says Megatronic with just a Jersey hater? <laughs> I'm sure it can be done. Yeah, production. Um, yeah, production. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. While we've been just chatting about nothing, there are people in the server. We're just missing listen, one Bobby. Legion of Boom player. Looks like. Um, so we're, we're almost there boys and girls and people Close. in general. Oh, 
I would like to say that currently our guy Bassoon is coming back. Uh, not our guy Bassoon. Our guy Bassoon. Bulldog has come back into the. Oh, game. wonderful! Who Every is time Kyle? He rejoins. He's auto muted because he's <laughs> I don't so know funny. toxic and matchmaking or something. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Well, uh, listen, let this be a lesson to you folks. Don't be toxic in matchmaking or your name will not toxic. show up in se- well, <laughs> listen. I'm not I'm not one who supports toxicity, but sometimes there, <laughs> well, there are listen. people Well, listen here. There are sometimes people <laughs> who need to be controlled in an MM game who are just, you know, off the rocker and then they will report you for uh for toxicity when they you know, when you're yeah. just fighting fire with fire, but boys Boys. The copy pastas are coming in chat. The knife round is beginning. All ten people are in the server. Oh my god! Woo. Okay, boys Herbie's just killed himself in the server. Oh god. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess listen. that's how they end the knife round. Oh, I, that's pro. You know what? That makes sense. That's probably true. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we're about anyways. to get into it, ladies and gentlemen. I will throw you to our wonderful hosts, Fuffy and Mecca, and here we go. Let's have it. Let's have a great game, and. uh I will I will be here if you know if it's over. <laughs> right. If it ever so ends. Just, are we thrown in like, the game uh, and it's not even live yet? Oh no, it's not. There it's it live. is. Now we go. Here we have it. Map two. Legion of Boom now on their own map pick, already up one against the bassoons. We get to jump right into this one. Corby smoke flash flash. I think we're gonna see the exact same pistol that I highlighted in that analysis, where they just take it towards A. Yes, they are. The question is, no, that's Gindet with a bomb in mid? No, that's Pecan. I'm reading the numbers wrong. They're going up fast. Gindet, Pecan going to catch two players in the back, but Ogo and Bird already have opening kills. Dachi, though, does trade one. And damage onto Veril, kill onto Bird. There it is. Because Pecan gets that lurking out through mid, now they are even. And they can go to either site that they want, but they're posturing towards B with the bomb here. But Jaws coming forward to meet them. Finds Pecan, but Pecan gets damage onto him, and Jaw just can't find this kill. Oh. Instead, somehow Pecan gets another. With Dachi already close oh. in sight, it's up to Jaw to hold, but that is a good shot. There's a player behind him. He swings around a second kill, and Kyle comes in with the third. Kyle and Jaw holding this one down. Jaw somehow stayed alive for so long despite being surrounded there on the site. Yeah, he stayed alive way longer than I think anyone should reasonably survive there. Uh, great round from the bassoons. Oh, great round indeed. They got initial mid control, then they lost to those picks, but Jaw clawed it back at the end. Now they're heading in towards A. Gindet going to be showing us these smokes. Looks like they got their A exec already. Yes, they are smoked off, but if they just wait a moment for that to fade... The flash coming in. If it gets Kyle here, he is dead. Molotov goes down in front, but the Molly's kind of late, and yeah, he can only find one kill. Now the two smokes come down. The bomb can be planted in them. And that's the site, and, well, without a good 3v4 retake, that's the round for, Bas for Legion of Boom. Getting close here. Gidnet pulls one out. That's jaw down. Veril at least trades it back. Swinging around the big box. Finds a second one. Not a third, though. Just damage, and so Bird left to clutch. He does not have a kit. Has a smoke that he drops towards the bomb. At least that goes down, but... Yeah, when he's caught looking for that kit, they just shoot him in the side, and there it is. Looks like we are setting up to just... There we go. Teams swapped. Got him on the right side now. One to one. Legion of Boom bassoons tied up. And there it is, that exit coming out from Legion of Boom that I highlighted before. Take an A. Yeah, and it looks like the CTs are just trying to do their uh, their normal style default here. Well, there's a lot of mid-aggression there from VIP Veril and Oboe. Very far yeah. up in this positions. Ooh, and shut down. Now nades come in, now they shut down the A aggression as well, and so they're going to go A. But the molly tick is heard, and bird is destroyed. Jaw the only one left alive. Got his MP9, he's creeping up close. Interesting, no skin on that weapon. And he probably just wants to try to find an AK off of one of these three players, but 
obviously they're gonna play buddy system they're not gonna let him grab that i would assume he gets up close footsteps heard but he wins the duel onto t noodle it's another player close though does he expect it no dachi kills him and legion of boom up two to one good start good start good start for everyone involved uh, absolutely good start for everyone involved yeah. Three AKs on the Legion of Boom side. MP9 and a paintball gun against a bunch of pistols. Let's see, are these pistols stacking? These pistols are stacking mid. Will they be ready? We have an engagement here mid as they swing out. Team with that SMG. Dachi with that AK. And yeah, easy eco cleanup. Dachi's 3K on the spray. He's looking activated after offing his heart out on Dust 2. Picks up the rifle in this one. And just shows off his nice spray control. Very nice spray control there. And they're not going to do any upgrades for the Legion of Boom. But the bassoons will be on full M4A4s with just extremely low utility. Yeah. What is that? Two smokes, a nade, and a molly? And a this is going to be real rough for them. Though I guess if they can win duels, especially against the FAMAS and the MP9... Maybe it won't matter that they have no util, but yeah, no flash or anything. Obo peeks dry and dies. Now Bird's tucked close, gonna get Molly back, but he wins his first fight. Does he win any more? No. Traded out, and the fact that T-Noodle kills Veril push up in mid means that these last two players are just left to gamble to a site. And it looks like yeah. they're gambling towards mid and B. Kyle finds a kill before the smoke blooms in front of him. Now he can regroup. Try to just lock down a site. There's a player coming in through Donut, and Jaw is making the perfect information play. If he catches a pick in the back, they can equalize things. But instead, all the players have just backed up. Kyle has a fight in Temple that he loses out to Gindet. That was so important, and now I think Jaw should just get prompted to save this one. It's a tough Absolutely. choice to make, but that M4 can have more impact in the next round, especially with a kit and a smoke. He might also want to try and find one of the uh, the AKs that have been dropped over somewhere. That's true. I believe there may be one. Uh, oh, actually, no. Side. They or brought no, they a had three MP9 in the round. and a FAMAS into the round. Yeah. No AKs available. Jaw looking to peek here. Oh, my. Sprays from everybody. Yep. Gindet. Gindet's he's slow. Alive. He's running. He's running away now. Showing he's off his it. nice knife. And here we are. Bomb blows up, we get the cool camera angle on the site, and we get Legion of Boom with a 4-1 to one lead. Quadruple the rounds of the bassoons, though. We're still early stage of the, stages of the game. The real question is, how much of a buffer is going to be necessary? Do the bassoons need to win a lot of rounds in this half? Because so far, they're beginning to trail behind. Yeah, so far they're not really winning much round, many rounds, much rounds. All right, Veril and Obo pushing through quickly. Ja gonna give some oomph behind this rifle. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be saved M4 very now. important. But now they all back up. They've let the A site go unchecked. Here is that that's exec a, coming in. They that's a lot of you. That. That's a lot of util put down, though, for nobody there on the site. I mean, obviously, they don't know that, but True. util Team left after the only one util to stop a retake, so it could oh. be dangerous. Okay. So immediate two kills through the smoke from Kirby. We said that they had to keep Kirby quiet if they wanted to make this one competitive, but so far, he's coming alive. Bird finally silences him with that P250. Kyle has one with his M4. Now Jaw has the kit. Oh my goodness. He get on the bomb easily. No, it. instead he gets on the trade. And now he has the defuse. Plenty of time for this one. They win that retake. And you know, before, I didn't think it was a mistake. But the fact that they knew that so many players were over towards B, but they still used all of their util to exec onto A. That really spelled disaster for him there because they had no way to molly or smoke to stop that retake. Yeah, that's been, uh, I think, three A rounds straight in a row right there for the Legion of Boom. Uh, I know it's early in the game, but we need to see a little bit more of the B presence for them. Yeah, in their prior game up against Shoguns in the semifinals, they went A five times and B four times. So pretty even a split for them. We'll see if they decide oh, to mix it up. Oh, with the oh, shock. Oh. Mixing it up, scoped in for the first one while blind. Second one is a clean no-scope onto Pecan. 
That double kill is what they need to start stringing together some more rounds. Oh and God, Kyle is here in the back beast. of the site with his own op. Yes, Corby gets one back, but he still has Kyle to deal with. Keeps him stuck behind. The HE is good damage. But Kyle should just be able to back up. But instead, oh. he pushes forward. He posts up deep, knowing that he has bomb control. It's a gnarly Probably angle he's holding He could there, be Kirby. giving away a 1v1 to Quirby. Quirby is waiting to see if anyone goes up into Temple. If they do, they show their head to him. And give away that pick. Flash in, pushes Kyle off the angle. Now Quirby can just jiggle his way forward. The question is, does he look at the right spot? Kyle just hiding, playing it smart, and Bird is the one to make first contact and finish him off. There it is. The ops really coming into effect here. They're only able to hold one on, though, for this next round. Going to make it a little bit tougher. Still, though, they got to be feeling pretty great about that. Yeah, really. That's... Oh. That's fantastic right there. Great job there from the bassoons. And we're going to see five AKs coming out with just about full Utopia Legion of Boom. But we got the same story over on the bassoons, even two AKs for them to use. Plus that AWP, which we just saw have fantastic... Ooh, Bird saw that. Ooh, Bird saw Yeah, Obo opened up that previous round. Now he opens this one up with his M4A4, finding that kill. And at this point, they were trying to posture to get control of B-Main. But now with their pick, they can just back up, play the man advantage keep the map control that they do have, and that's exactly what they are doing. Yeah, so absolutely. In the cubby, cubby, jaw, crossfire, with, crossfiring with him. Player in donut, a player in mid, and a player on A. They are just completely defaulting this one out. They're just trying to get anything done here. The T's, that is. CT's very happy to just let the T's do whatever they want, as long as they don't take a sight. They've left A main open though, but Teen Noodle Ooh. takes out Obo quickly, and they're gonna go through Donut. No, that's a lie. They're gonna go yeah. through Lane, looking to try and go through Cheetah, it looks like. Yeah, they're gonna get control of that Lamps or Cheetah position. Smoke into the back site. Teen Noodle is close, but Bird should be ready for this one. Yeah. That kill means that they have an avenue to take this or even stop the plant, though Dachi's trade is clean. Now Kirby can just take up that position in the side hall. Kyle looks in maybe for something with his op. Him and Veril just looking around, but the two lowest rated players for their team, the two that you wouldn't expect to go for something flashy, I do think it's likely they save this. Oh, Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Oh, oh the no. Timing. That's rough. All right, but he's getting out, question mark? He's living. He's getting we out. We live these. We save these. We survive we these. these. Very important. We save these. They're saving them. All right. Kyle saves the op, which did so much work in round seven. Not a too much work. Oh, my goodness. Oh, pecan. Oh, pecan. Oh, pecan. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ooh. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think that would be the answer that everything is, in fact, fine. All right. Full buy up for both sides. Now Obo has the op in his hands instead of Kyle. We'll see if he's able to get a 2k like he did before. Vero looking into mid. Bird falling down. Takes that very important position, and this time Obo can't find anything. It's Pecan and Teen Noodle who find him. Yes, Veril gets one, but all of mid is lost. And with that, along with Bird's low util, it becomes a lot tougher. Oh, so Kyle, Kyle decides to make his move, pushes in behind, finds one, and now he can just hold down A main. They have so much to retake, they are essentially forced to go B or to go donut or mid. And yeah, they're grouping up towards B. Looks like they're just going to try to exec in on this one. Gindet going to smoke off that right stairs position. His teammates waiting back behind, perhaps with nades of their own. Yes, Cave smoked off. A Molotov into the cubby. Bird is burning alive. He gets one before he goes down. No two players dying in the flames. And Jaw looking to take out the rest. Forces the final one back with his flash. And Kyle... It's that final kill. 
Kyle was crucial there, just in pushing A, he found a player in the back on the perfect timing, but more importantly, he stayed alive, played the info, and that way they could just stack B there and win it out. Yeah, showing some beautiful view of Aztec here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I said Aztec. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, there's some aggression. There is definitely aggression here. Kyle and Oboe are in a good place. Kyle not able to get the first one, but Oboe able to get the trade onto him. There's, right. there's a lot of CT aggression here. Control. There's That's a important. lot of CT aggression here. Feral yeah. grabs Noodle and the I AK. Before, they had to disrupt the game plan of Legion of Boom, and that's exactly what they're going for. But now here it comes in this exec. They have sight. They have cave smoked off. They can plant safely behind the pillar. Oh. Jaw getting another kill means that Gindet and Pecan need an important sight hold, and they can't even get the bomb yet. That's a bomb down back. from Jaw. Only Gindet alive. First kill for him, but there's three more to find, and no bomb plant. At least he has a minute on the clock to work with, though this one will be so tough. They can just set up crossfires and put a smoke in his face. There it is. He's forced to just wait. This one going to be so rough for them, and their money so low. I think Legion of Boom will be set after this one, and yeah. Oh. Jaw hits the reset button on their economy, takes out Gindet. Legion of Boom just forced into calling a timeout. You know what? Good call to call a timeout. We 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 like to see timeouts get called here. It's important. We didn't see many called last game. We actually only saw one called last game, even though there should have probably been some more in there. Tie game now for Bassoons and Legion of Boom. Uh, tie game, and it's really just looking like a back and forth. This time it's... Again, Legion of Boom with a good start, but Bassoons begin to string some rounds in the middle of this first half. The question is, will it be like Dust2? Will they get on a good streak at the end to win the half? Or can Legion of Boom bring it back? Hero AK on Kirby. He does not want to drop any rounds. They've got a few digs, P250s, and the like, but their low utility is going to make this one tough. Looks like Kirby is just going to be the one to go first in and just take contact here on A, and they're playing it perfectly for the aggressive setup. No util used by oh, Kyle. Oh, the spray is good for two. The problem is no more are found. Kirby's hero AK, the hero in this round to find those kills. At least Beryl shuts him down. The smoke in sight. These two players can get up close. And yeah, Pecan caught looking the wrong way. There's so many angles, and they had no util, so they just could not find safe places to be. Just Dachi left, playing around the smoke. It's going to sort oh, of see timings. where Jaw is. The question is, is he able to find it? Smoke off behind them. That's Jaw dealt with. Swaps to his deagle. Veril's low. He only needs one shot and a headshot on Bird. Thomas Bird is just playing such a tight angle. He likely will not be able to find it. And yeah, distracted by Bird. Veril gets the final kill. And they're able to win that one out. It was so close. But the fact that they had a fast rotate in... The fact that Veril was able to kill Quirby after he got those two. Quirby had his knife out because he assumed that the site was clear after they killed two people. But this stack towards A, potentially some kind of read or even prep before watching demos, realizing that Legion of Boom likes to lean A just as much as B, despite a lot of people saying that B is the easier site to take. Yeah, totally agree with you there. And now that the bassoons are in the driver's seat, they're taking a little nice time out, ready to just absolutely destroy the rest of this half i think they're going for and it looks like there's going to be a weird kind of buy for the legion boom here quirby going to be left with a deagle and full util everyone else has a rifle but he's got a deagle and full util and that's it that's because he went for the hero ak before he's gotta make the sacrifice in this one though as the caller he can just call around that now play a little bit more passive but also no that the economy is going to be very rough for the bassoons if they lose this next one. Only Beryl, the one with some bank built up. And now we get to see, are they able to defend against a full exec into the... Bird at least takes this control and gonna try to head into mid, but with all this focus on mid, there's only one player in the back of B site to defend it. Kirby's Deagle just wrecking havoc there in bottom mid. And now, finally, Bird can rotate into the site to help. The problem is, his position's gonna get smoked out. He's gonna try to run forward, but there's already players close. Dachi, the flash goes up, lines everyone. The That's the bomb. The bomb goes down. It's traded, though, but now Bird is here to hold this. Looks like they can smoke it so that they can get bomb. And now they're gonna try to plant. They plant it safely behind the pillar. 
and Corby's flank now. He found that initial kill in mid, finds another one. He's just being so annoying, such a thorn in their sides. He knows exactly how to play, how to lurk around while controlling his pieces on the map like a chess master. So Bird, the only one here who can look into the site because Kyle was sort of cut off by Corby. Finally now he can get up here to try to retake it, but it's going to be so difficult. And if they don't save these guns, they can't at all get this. But now that's the one player on the site gone. They drop a smoke. He can get on it, but his smoke's not good for the bob. And so Dashi can just swing in and get him. Somehow find a second as well. Bird spray was wild. None of those shots connecting. Dashi gets three in the round. Wins it out. Leech to boom. Keep it close. 6-6. Six, six. Uh, this is going to be another close one, isn't it? It's going to be another close just, one. They keep playing it close. I All don't right. know what's going on, but... A little bit of a half buy here coming from the bassoons. Legion of Boom, on the other hand, flush with the AKs, a little Galil, a little M4A4 there. Ah, uh, yes. And with this, they should just be able to shut down the pistols. A aggression, they are ready for it. They've gotten hit previously in the back by Kyle and Oboe from there. So now they just shut it down. Now they're looking to go A, actually. Bird finds yeah. one all the way in middle, cuts off that lurker. And yeah, the CTs and are coming to stack A. This is going to be a rough one. It's going to be a complete brawl on the site. And grabs the M4, which is like far and away. Oh, I love this setup here. Two deagles just ready to go off. Barrel with the first, the swing out, and yeah, just two deagle body shots able to finish it. But Gindet fast through mid because they stacked A, they dropped everything else. It leaves Bird to retake. He has one kill already. He needs two more to find this one. Bomb's not down. So now he can isolate a one-on-one, -on -one, but Gindet is fast on the trigger. Wins it out, and wins Legion of Boom a seventh. They're close to winning out this half. They are. Okay, you say they're close to winning out the half, right? But there's still two rounds left in the half. Either team can still realistically win this half. It's true. Legion of Boom, the closer ones, and they're up against a half buy. So, I mean, it's possible. Though, it's also possible that Oboe's shotgun goes off for the epic shotgun ace of a lifetime. I'm a bit doubtful, but that's just because I'm a hater, you know? Uh, fast into the site. Ooh, so by variation Josh. on it, but the fact that they can't flash jaw means that he doubles up with his SMG. Eventually caught out of ammo, he goes down. But now, all these other players can just be nuisances. Try to stop this bomb plant. Oh, Quirby doubles up. And that is the double that secures them this round. Gindet, final kill onto the flank. And now Legion of Boom have one out this half. The question is, does this half stay close? Or instead, do we have an 8-7? Really anyone's game just based off the pistol on the next one. All right. Last round of the half, we got the op on Oboe, he's got no armor. Yeah, he is got pulling a raptor. Cannon. He's running in, getting aggro, but finding no one. So instead he just backs up towards Donut, scopes in. His teammate Bird gonna, looks like, help sort of clear out this B control, make sure that no one can be coming on the B platform over to him. Barrel finds a first kill over that smoke. Was that a flub smoke from the Teats trying to get top mid? Either way, they lost a kill, and they still haven't found the op in Oboe there to deal with. If they swing out over aggressive, that could be their doom. Dead though, a flubbed mid smoke, and they throw their own interesting smoke at the bottom of mid. Just creep forward and take this control. They're doing it all silently, and Oboe's backed up, so now they have Bird locked from two angles question is, do they know the pop flash for this position? If they do, Bird is just dead. Instead, they walk doesn't in matter, quietly, doesn't matter. and Bird gets two. It's actually no. Q Noodle on the TK for one of them, but he eventually trades, and now they explode. They go fast, but there's two players here to deal with. It's a two-on-two -on, -two on site. If they win it, they have a two-on-two -on -two after plant as well. Smoke coming in in Barrel's face. Now they can get the bomb down. Oh, it looks like they might boost up over the smoke. No, instead the smoke's fading, but Barrel's caught with his gun out, 
or is not, he's nade out, sorry. No gun, and so he's shot in the face. Oboe gets one, Gindet trades back, it's one on one. Gindet and Kyle, Gindet has been so good in the sight holds, but this time, he's caught walking in at the wrong place, wrong time. Kyle takes him down and wins this one out. We have an even half here. Bassoon's Legion of Boom, eight to seven. We have no idea where this one's going, folks, but we do know Whoa. it's going to be exciting. Yeah, we're... This is just about as close as you could have asked for. Actually, it is literally as close as you could have asked for. Uh, it, I, I'm excited for this one. I think Legion of Boom's T-side is definitely strong. If bassoons have that same tactical ability, we could see them taking this one through. But the question is, can they match that? Can they match up with, well, now a Kirby who's fragging out? He's 15-9 along with Dachi up there with him, just confident in this one. Confident that they've got what it takes to bring it over the line. The question is, do they? Oboe has Util, and they're going fast into the site. Oboe, yeah, he looks to throw smokes and flashes as they're all just going through cave. There's a smoke back for left side CT. First kill in cave, second oh, kill in Kyle. cave. Kyle doubles up on the entry. Triples Who up. Who gives a damn about the second person in? Because the first one is Kyle, and he has gotten a triple. Now sight is open. Gindet and Quirby to retake. Quirby at least has kit smoke. Maybe they could just try to stick that one in it. But it's going to be so difficult with four T's alive. Dot grabs one. It's just Quirby now. Kirby finds a second, got two in this round, he needs a 4k to win it out. There's a third, now it's possible, he has the kit smoke too. He can just stick this one. He is, he's in the smoke, Kyle has to finish him off. Kyle needs a fourth in the round, he gets the fourth kill, but he does not get the round because Kirby's defuse comes through in just the nick of time. Oh my goodness. Good time out here for them to take, so important, right? We, we, yeah, we can we go over- They've just cool down. Yeah. Now, if Legion of Boom timeout here, that's a tilt timeout. That's true. But, I mean, they might want it. Kirby won that one in the smoke. Somehow he got three kills. I brought up before, you know, he should be their star. On Dust2, it got a little close, got a little scary because he was not showing up. But now on Ancient, he's topping the scoreboard 18 and 10 and winning key rounds like that. All right. It looks like we might be in a uh, technical timeout situation here. We've yeah, lost like John. Calling multiple tacks for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they'll eventually get in a final player. Looks like tax just not working out the best. But they call the tax, and that's what gets them in on this one. Jaws back. Everything's fine. They can buy up. They can try to play this one out. Play out the Force Buy, because they got Bomb Plant, because the CT money cannot be great. They're going to go for this one. And we'll see how well it goes for them. mac Ten's going to go fast. I doubt it, but perhaps Kyle could find a multi-kill on the entry, just like he did on that pistol. That was rather impressive. Him and Corby, the heroes of the previous round. That deep smoke coming in. One that I believe we saw NIP or Mouse Sports throwing a lot. Just today in the clone play-ins when they played Ancient against each other. An interesting one because it allows for a Molotov in front of it. And some map control of the main part to be taken while you're not shot from up Oboe. above. But instead, Oboe comes in below, delivering death with the MAC-10. Two kills for his name. He's tagged up now, but he's just able to plant the bomb. Kyle with a kill. HE may seal his fate. Yes, there it no. is. But still, Obo's there's fate. three T's left up to defend. Dachi, able to get the molly through. Shooting a little bit of spam bullets here. Ky oh, grabs Ooh. Kyle through the smoke. Just a little That's bit. That's a rough one, and that makes the retake so much more possible. They even have a smoke that they can put on this bomb. Dachi can go in it and defuse. Kyle has to come around the side, but he does enough damage for Bird to finish one. Now the oh. tap can come in on the bomb, but instead he's made running noises. He goes for an M4 instead to likely just save. And now Bird peeks on the correct timing, takes him out, and Bassoons are back in this one. While Legion of Boom are broken, they probably have to force this and save next. 
So if bassoons win this one, they have a chance to get in the lead. The lead, you say? They, they can get the lead. They just need two rounds to do it. And this one's up against Deagles, so... As long as there's no Deagle Miracles coming through mid. But... Yeah, fast mid. Purby already up. T-Noodle holding anyone that swings close. Feral's alone with Bomb. If he goes down... That would be awkward. Instead, he's going to back up with the rest of his team to take A. And Oboe's going to fake into B. He's got a Molly that's going to land nowhere, question mark? Club to Molly? Really not much other util to use. All right. Oboe so, spots one. Yeah, Legion of Boom have the perfect read. Team Noodle first one on the pistol. Now the deep smoke coming. Dachi hiding in the back of the site gets one of his own, but Bird doubles up onto him and Pecan. At least Pecan's kill is finished by that HE nade. Two on three. The gun advantage is definitely still there for the bassoons. The man advantage is in the hands of Legion of Boom. And they've still got Team Noodle back site. He spots one player up on the boost. That's Oboe. Oboe now drops down after making that contact, realizing that there's either players in Temple or Donut. And as he slowly clears Temple, Donut is the place to be. Just cannot find any of the kills, though. Bird's found another one. He has three in the round. He needs an ace to win this one. It's so tough. Third oh, spray is good for the fit. Oh my goodness. Bird just cleaning house on that one. Bird goat. Oh, Bird Ace, Bird Galil, Bird is showing why he is the star. And somehow Kyle sitting up next to him in that star seat, 17 and 11. He's been going off for this one. They're tied nobody 9 to 9. Has, full save out for Legion touched, of Boom. Uh, nobody's touched Quirby's uh, stratospheric res. Oh my goodness, all five are going at each other. They're all going. Oh my goodness, John! John! <laughs> Three on the Mac. Ten. Oboe. He's gonna clean it up there in the end. Him and Jaw padding the stats a little. Jaw's gonna be rich AF. He could buy an op if he wants. He could buy an AK. He's got whatever he yeah, really needs. And yep, AK armor, util, everything he fancies. And they're going basically rifle v rifle. No ops out in this one. Util for both sides. And it's an A lean for them. They're Bassoons are going to just try to grab this map control, and there's no one to contest it. Instead, there's just one player all of the way in the back of a site, sort of waiting. Quirby deep mid control. This is interesting. If they find this crunch, yeah, they have B control as well, B main. They should know that it's A. The question is, are there rotates in time? No, no one else on that site as Jaw finds the entry. They're dropping a few smokes. The Molotov tickles at his feet. But yeah, with pretty much everything smoked off, they can get the bomb down. Alright, T-Noodle. Gonna take a couple shots, but quickly retreat into the temple. Just gonna do a little bit here. Not gonna look to do anything, actually. That was a total lie. Yep, 17 HP. He just wants to stay safe. Finally taken down. Bird takes down one, but... Everyone's coming alive for the CTs. They just get kill after kill. I don't know how they won that one back. I assume that they'd have to save there because they had the disadvantage, but instead just that flurry of frags, the classic caster words. And they win it out, tied up 10 to 10. This game is just so close, coming down to the wire. Yes, the bassoons can buy, but it's going to be tough. I think they should really call a timeout here if they're able to. It's going to be so tough. To do, honestly, on either team right now, this is a tough game for you, right? It's 10-10. This is the slugfest right here. Yeah, we're only on map two, but yet both of these have begun really close up until the end. I think this is the point where one team comes away with it. Corby's fast mid control. This time, no aggression towards B, so they don't know that the majority of their T's are on A. And so they're going to walk off into A again. But there's only one player all the way back in CT to receive. That one player, Dachi, just forced back. He would love to have an off in this situation. 
Instead, though, it's his teammate Kirby who's able to find Jaw. They Molotov off the plant, but Oboe's mid lurk is successful for a first. And now he try to come behind Kirby, but Kirby's ready swivels on a dime. Takes down Kyle as well. Kirby just completely coming alive. Three in this round. He's looking to potentially match Bird's oh ace, goodness. and no, stolen away by T-Noodle just at the end. Kirby with a 4K, though. He's coming alive 27 and 13. I said before, Kirby could grab a 1.5 rating on one of these maps, and oh yes, he's looking to do that. He's definitely looking to do it right now. We get a full buy in from the Legion of Boom, which is basically just a full T-buy, right? Yeah, they've just got a bunch of AKs. They got one M4 on Kirby, but... He's loving that so far. I think he's just putting himself in the most impactful positions. He's the one coming through mid. He's the one just basically grabbing all the control. And once he has it, he sees with his own eyes what part of the map he needs to rotate the rest of the players to. And this time, spotting a few out towards B, he's going to send his teammates to cover that site. They have three all the way in the back of B. Kirby tucks into Donut now to just play it safe. And they basically have everything on lock. These deagles probably just going to look to find some consolation frags. But no one is peeking them. Yeah, it's so instead, it's just a, it's a slow, awkward creep forward. We've seen Bird. We've seen him frag out. But does he do it here? I'm personally doubtful. First one to receive is Gindet. Gindet just smartly backs up. They know that these T's don't have the util, so they can back up. It's not like a smoke's gonna come in their face. Because they're just up against eagles, and yeah, Kirby adds another to his kill count. Looking to get to 30, he's only one away from it now. Jaw fully flashed. Gindet and Pecan finish it off. And there we are, Legion of Boom up by two. They want to pull away with this one. Bassoon's really awkward spot for the money. But they're gonna decide to buy up. Bird, Veril, Kyle all having AKs. Jaw as well. Obo just drops down to the Deagle. Problem is they don't really have enough util to get an exit going in this one. Absolutely not. They they just it, it's kind of the same problem they had last one, although Jaw does grab an opener. Quirby's in a place to get traded, but oh, he does so he has two trades of his own. He grabs the AK and still magic to get out, even though Obo shooting him in the side. Obo finally finishes off that kill. And two AKs Finally. now against the three. Deagle for Oboe, though, still potent into this round. Oh, it's just so scary there. The fact that Kirby doubles up. I thought that they finally had something into this round because they had a multi-kill. But instead... Ooh, Oboe quick on this attempted flank because his teammates are going B. Doesn't find anything, and Dodge is finding one. Eventually traded by Bird, but 17 HP is not looking great for bird he can try to get aggressive though temple push is smart but it is not being held actually oh he's found the God. perfect timing to slip through now gindet's gonna check it shutting him down grabbing a 13th likely a 14th because we're only gonna see pistols because that's all that bassoons can buy here they're nearing match point they're so close they can taste the victory they can taste the trophy here Legion of Boom, the CSC. Oh no! Season five major finals. Right. Oh no! The, the things as we happening. get an auto disconnect. The count. The timer is somehow counting up now, despite us being in freeze time. <laughs> things are glitching out a little. This is awkward. Tech pause 2.0, my friends. Uh, there's only so many pizza toppings to go around, though. Ah. Uh... Ah, our, our glorious uh, our glorious observer here has given us another thing to talk about, desserts. All right. Did you did you have anything for dessert, my friend? Today, I did not. I did not. All right. I had some cake and ice cream, actually. Yo, that sounds like a slap. That's nice. The leftover cake, then you grab some vanilla ice cream from the freezer. Mm, it was good. I had a... I, I, I went somewhere last night, and I ended up getting to an ice cream truck, and I got a... I got a chocolate soft serve dipped in the the cherry dip. The what? Wait, have you never heard of the dip? Ex I don't know about the dip. Me? Excuse oh, me. Excuse me. Cherry story. dip? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, cherry dip. Do you, have you <laughs> never heard of the dip either? I've I've never. Well, I I know that you can dip soft serve in like liquid chocolate. 
I knew that. Yeah. But, so there's like I, they have they have like a blue one, which I think is like I don't know what it is. But it's blue. They've got a they've got a brown one, which is just more chocolate. Yeah. And they've got a red one, which is cherry. Ooh. Ah, no, 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 it's great, man. Have you tried? Have you ever had like dark chocolate cherries? It's like having no, that, but no, ice but, cream. but but I absolutely despise dark chocolate. So I no, I I could not, I could not do it. Sounds like Sorry. a problem, man. Oh, it it most definitely is. But Fuffy, back me up here. Dark chocolate, terrible. Correct. Uh, you are actually correct on this. Okay, one. Okay, thank God. Oh, I thought it was you are for a actually moment. <laughs> entirely correct on this. Perfect. One. I like I'll I'll do a little bit of dark chocolate as like a flavor with something else. Sure. But like on its own, I just cannot handle it. Maybe with a giant glass of milk, but even then <laughs> I end up having like giant ten times the milk, milk compared to the chocolate. A gargantuan <laughs> glass of milk. Yeah. In gargantuan glass of milk. Just and gargantuan fuck, just a gargantuan like gargantuan glass of milk. <laughs> Oh was, my goodness. Gargantuan like the amount of kills that Kirby has in this match. Boys, what the heck? I mean, you guys you guys what kind of heck? predicted a little bit. Kirby, or I mean, I guess, yeah, I, I, who who predicted the bounce back? I want to say it was Fuffy. I, mean, I was the one who essentially said that he's the one that should perform. And I said that if he gets this bounce back, I think Legion of Boom just clean it up. And the fact that he is wrecking face, I think, is a testament to how he calls here on Ancient. The fact that he's being aggressive into middle, finding all the info for his team to rotate off of, while at the same time as having all of this info, he's able to put himself in the spots for frags because he's the one being aggressive for it. It's sort of that that IGL style. It's a combination of Blame F being the, I guess, the lurker who's able to find info and then tell his team on the other side of the map, okay, go do this. Also combined with like the star power of Nico, who essentially just says, "This is my part of the map. Nobody else comes here. I'm destroying them." All right, and Mr. Nico, we're back into the game. Max, we'll say goodbye to you for a little while. We'll be back on the do it. later. All right, we left when it was ten to thirteen. There's an op in the hands of Dachi. Yes, Khan yes. is yet to buy. Assuming they're just waiting a little bit because we're all we're all paused up. Once they do get the buy through, though, they should confidently be able to close at least this round out. If not this game, they really only have one more gun round to contest with Legion of Boom. And things are going to get exciting. I don't want to rule the deagles out completely, but at the same time, like they're deagles. What could go wrong, right? Ah, uh, famous last words. Molly comes through for skin debt. Oh, the perfect pop flash from oh. Teenul. This is the team play that I think the bassoons were lacking. Obo often caught just dying oh. out there in that uh, oh. deep plat position. And now, Kirby gets flashed in, finds a triple. Barrel the last one stuck, and yes, the deagles are dealt with. Those dastardly deegs are out of here. And instead, right. we get to bring in AK's ops. Whatever they want over on the bassoon side, they can pretty much afford. Legion of Boom, same for them. We've even got a saved over AK on Corby, who, I mean, if he continues in this multi-fragging fashion, if he gets three kills in these at least last two rounds that were guaranteed, He'll have oh, a 40 a bomb. He's got a Krieg. All right, Krieg Vera, what out. can you do with this Krieg? Obo, what can you do with this op? These adaptations to try to get them back into this game. Oh, Obo takes a quick frag onto Pecan. That's the first opener. That's that's a good start. He's got the that's bomb, important. too. And now Kirby's pushing close to him. The question is, does, is Obo ready for this on the swing? Oh, Kirby's tucked. If Obo pushes up forward... This could be his demise. He scopes in. That scope will be heard. And now Corby gets him. That's oh. bomb. That's key. Corby's setting himself up for even more, though. Jaw has killed Tea Noodle in the meantime. They could boost over the smoke, but I assume Corby will be ready. Yeah, he's spamming up top of it. He knows exactly what they might want to do. So instead, they just slow down. Jaw has the Molotov in his hands. Flash deep. Kirby drops his own on the defense. Swings close, jaw dealt with. 
That's a second kill for Corby. Not a third. A bird finally shuts him down. That's exactly what they needed to shut down that star power. It cost them so many to do it. And now the flashbang is perfect from Gindet. He peeks off of it, gets it. They save an op, an AK into this potential last round. Legion of Boom could win it all right here. And bassoons have to be nervous. Oh, it's a nerve-wracking thing, man. You're in the finals. You're in the grand finals. You played a whole season to get up to this. What, it was like 10, 8, 9 weeks of playing, right? There's been a lot going into this season, right? And you get stopped at the end. It's, it's rough either way. You got to make sure you get your best out of it. And they've got a lot going, but Doc, the first call to Bird. And I believe now that is Kyle. Out. That's Kyle, yes. Finding that one, swinging out. Kyle wants even more. The entry that he found in the T-Pistol, he's not able to replicate it. Now shut down, and now they're on a disadvantage for this retake. Made even bigger by Quirby. At 37, impossible for him to get to 40, but I'm sure he would forego that for winning the entire thing. And it's just Barrel left. First with the Creek, oh, the second creek. one as well. He's oh, the spinning creek. around in this position. He knows where Pecan is from, but the spray is not good. And Legion of Boom are your CSC Major Season 5 champions, making it all the way through playoffs, winning every single series 2 to 0. And they have done it. Corby and the gang must be proud. I absolutely agree with that, as you see me standing up, etc. <laughs> and me unmuting myself because I didn't even realize that we had switched. Hello, boys. Beautiful. I, I mean, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. And I thought for a moment, I saw a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. I thought bassoons were going to maybe, maybe mount a, a, an unexpected win. But alas, we, uh, we get the expected result. Buffy. Okay, I was I was so ready to do this. I was so ready to be the clown who <laughs> called the 2-0. But instead, I got to hand that to you guys, bassoon fans. Uh, I'm Ed sorry, but like... <laughs> it's not coming through. Uh, amazing. You know, I, I, I thought they had it in them. I really did. All right, I had faith in them, uh, you know. But here's the thing, right? Both maps were super close, right? Regardless of what the score says... Both maps were really close. There were a lot of back and forth rounds that could have gone either way, especially on Dust 2. And we had two really good maps to Counter Strike. Right. Uh, two maps, two maps for sure. Uh, they uh, even on Ancient, there were there were those early signs, right? Like I said, the bassoons putting their strong foot forward, and and it was just really like like we just chatted about in that little tech pause there. Querby dropping thirty seven, was it? in that game an absolute an absolute stud um and yeah. i think we might even be able to get a quick interview with the man the man the myth the legend uh i think we've got him coming into the uh to the media right, interviews yeah. channel in a in a quick moment here b b quick little brainstorm what are we gonna ask him, guys i mean he knew how exactly do you click what heads? map control to take like he clicked <laughs> you... all the heads but um, along with that he had so much control he commanded so much space which was what allowed him to get those kills I think, yes, there's star power on these other sides, but no one played it as smart as Corby did. And yeah, yeah. it looks like we've got him able to drag right. him down in and get him. Hello, Hello. my friend. Oh my, oh. me oh my, Corby. How does it feel, my guy? Season 5 major champion. Oh, Just fantastic. give us your thoughts. Oh, you, you, listen, we, we were, we were a little doubtful after that dust performance <laughs> we were we were like okay wait are we going to see the man and then the man showed up on that ancient man holy moly so just i mean take us through that 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 kind of turnaround what did you guys talk about in the uh, in the uh, break between maps or you well, what did you talk about well initially in dust 2 we knew we just had to frag out and fight him and everything like that and i didn't have the best game my teammates really came up like gindet huge on dust 2 kept on winning the clutches it was amazing and then into the break, got up. Mental reset is really important with these things for sure. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I was kind of disappointed in my Dust 2 performance. So I was really thinking about that, really thinking about my aim, thinking about what I got to do. And I just went into the Ancient as confident as possible and it worked out. Well, and, and it looked like that. You were just, you were going and there didn't seem to be any kind of hesitation. And like, just what a clean game, man. Seriously, congratulations. And, 
I mean, if if we got to listen, if we got to talk about final MVPs, your your name's obviously in the contention. I don't know. I don't know who who else is in there. Um, we might and have to Gindet, go to the Gindet, Gindet for sure. Gindet, I mean, Noodle also. T Noodle had an insane quarterfinal and semifinal. Mm. Um, I feel like the whole respect. team stepped up. Well, if and you, and sorry, if you look ahead. at our ancient performance and stuff like that, you also have to pay attention to when I'm swinging and being aggressive and being confident. There's Noodle behind me throwing a flash. There's Dak telling us what's happening at A, so we know what's happening on the map. And it's a whole team effort, to be honest. It wasn't yeah. just me stepping up. It was a whole team dialed in and ready to go. I really think that it was your guys' team play that won that one out. Specifically just, I mean, your aggression, you found all of the information there in mid. Of course, you were also winning duels, but even just getting that info and staying alive some of the rounds sort of won you guys those key situations there in the second half you were able to stack the right sites make all the right decisions and you just had little tiny micro team play things like yes your t side was good you had the execs coming in but your ct side you had all the set and aids that you needed how how much of that was anti-strat versus how much of that was just fundamental cs that you guys had practiced on ancient with a lot of the ancient plays like in the semifinals, we were kind of anti-stratting and seeing what the other team was doing but for this game we looked at when they played the ancient map last and it wasn't really the best game it was very puggy so we didn't really dial into what they're doing as much as ourselves okay and we practiced ancient so much coming into the semifinals because we wanted to punish um that team with it so we yeah, were just on prepping showguns them. absolutely and yeah in that one i saw t noodle coming alive uh you guys sort of just rolled past showguns albeit no star player but even then, you guys did not falter, stayed confident, came all the way into this one and won it out. I am glad. I just, I actually also want to ask, you guys talked about pracking Ancient so much, having that one ready to punish these teams that, you know, may have been scared of maps like Nuke, such as Bassoons, where they banned that one out immediately. How much of this map pool did you know coming into it? Were you expecting them to pick Dust2 against you? No, actually. Um... With our map pool in general, we started with the puggy maps that are easy to learn. And then with the finals, we learned the more difficult maps like Nuke, like Ancient, to play against the Shoguns and the other teams. So it worked out. But um, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Um, were you expecting <laughs> this uh, specific oh, yeah. three maps in the pick band? No, we, we were very confident on six maps besides Vertigo. But then we were seeing how they're playing Ancient, and we decided not to play it against them. So we banned Mirage. Oh, yeah, we saw how they were playing Mirage. I mean, they played it great, so we were like, we're going to ban that out. And we are expecting Inferno, because they played it the last two series, and they picked it, and they were confident on it. So the Dust 2 was kind of an up-in-the-air pick. But we weren't really phased, because we had the Ancient and Overpass where we were confident. It's very true, and you guys were able to win out Dust 2. As you said, the game plan going to that one, your individuals, and they showed up. Gindet and Dachi just going off on that. Mechatronic, do you have anything you'd like to ask him? I do. Um, how'd your mental reset in between games go? Because you came out from one game, kind of middle of the road, a little bit little lower on the fragging leaderboard, to top of the charts, absolute knocking heads off, that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Um... Really, it was just all about walking around, change the scenery for the five minutes. It actually, it had the, it had the extended break because of the technical stuff. But really, I just got off of my computer for a little bit and didn't think about the game. If you do that, you don't think about your bad performance. It's very much easier to reset and play the next game better. And that that that, that that's a tip for all you youngsters out there. It's just you know you're playing MM, you're you're getting you're getting angry, your team's letting you down. Just Game's over. Take a step away and just just take a deep breath. Um, any, anything else, Mecca? You got for him? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations. Thank I'm not sure start. if we said that yet, but congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congrats. It's been a it's been a long season. I'm sure you're you're excited to go back to the boys and uh, do some do some celebrating because man, there's a lot to celebrate in that last performance. Cheers, Thanks. Kirby. Thanks for showing up, man. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Oh, what, right. a, what a, what a legend. Now we, can, now we can shit talk him. <laughs> yep, okay, yep. He was so bad on Dust 2. Absolutely well, well, terrible. Yeah. That entire time, he was uh, 
obviously uh, just getting lucky there. Yeah, the fact no. that, you know, it Eating. wasn't like he's a genius who made all the right decisions. He's no. just, Indica. no, yeah, he is Indica. a genius. He played it out. Even after playing against their team, he gave me pointers on how to improve our Mirage. Yeah. And what we changed legend. around our setup based on what he'd said and actually started doing better. Yeah. So like he's just a great guy overall. What a guy. Great teammate. And I'm I'm really happy to see his side being successful. And I mean 2 0, that's about as successful as you can get. Um do we want to I mean, I guess it's safe to say that we could probably name him MVP of these finals. No? I I mean, for my own personal pick, I would say yes, simply because even on a map like Dust 2, the, the way that they were playing off of each other definitely has a lot to do with the experience that he brought, the calmness. Even though he wasn't doing great, we even saw him win a clutch at the beginning of it. Yep. And then over on Ancient, like he was the clear MVP of everything on that. No one else stood out anywhere close to him on that map. And yeah, I'd say for me, he's the, he's the MVP of this whole thing. I'd agree, but, and for the same reasons that Fuffy just said, but I'd like to... F- very clearly say that I think all of us would agree on the fact that Gindet is the finals MVP runner up. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. that he deserves the credit that he got for absolutely. And, and I, and I, I mean this semi jokingly, but he absolutely carried that team through dust too, right? Yeah. He got a lot done on dust too, in order for them to get to the place that they were able to be in on ancient in order to allow that, like that mental reset, right? If you're down a map, it's a totally different ball game right there. So yeah. great job on Gindat for being able to take just mm-hmm. what he was given and win what he was given, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I saw Dachi with that op. He was going off on Dust 2 as well. Obviously, you expect him to do well, and he filled his role perfectly. T-Noodle over on Ancient throwing those nades as Quirby brought up. We saw that flash that got Quirby a triple spray down. We saw him also getting a ton of trades into these sites. Uh, him and Pecan just sort of being consistently there. All of them played off of each other. Even basically any 5v4 situation where they were down, they just traded their way into a site, planted bomb, and won it out. I think just fundamentally, they were the better team. They deserve to win this one. And, you know, again, I'm just so happy for them. And happy that happy that you got that prediction right too eh fuffy that's true i am happy i i I sort of screwed mechatronic over by throwing him the underdogs but you know yeah you can't really root against his gm so no yeah i think i would have been shunned for a very long time if that if that had happened not not only shunned by the state of new york but also uh by your own team (laughs) all right max i believe we have some announcements to make well we have we have some we have some announcements to make and not that some of these come as a surprise. But we got we got to make them anyways. I I don't I don't think that Wonder is in the chat right now. But big shout out to the major MVP Wonder, an absolute stud, a legend, and a, just an overall great guy. And uh, I mean, un- almost unsurprising that he that he takes the MVP uh, for this season uh, for major. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some of the major all stars as well, yeah. and uh, they've been they've been <laughs> appropriately named Left Twix and Right Twix. These two the the all star teams um, on the Left Twix we have Wonder leading the charge with uh, Kiwi, I think is how you say it. That's Corby. Uh, oh, Corby. He's shortened. The, okay, <laughs> he said he said that he or who who was it? Yet he said that he shortened some of the names for some reason. Um, and so now here I am <laughs> looking like an idiot reading out shorting it shortened names. Um. Quirby followed up by JM, JM Dodd. Dodd. My guy, my boy, our hard yeah. carry. As the IGL, I basically said JM go kill, and he did go that kill. for pretty much so all. How of much them. of that all star are you taking? Like, what percentage of that yeah. all star placement is, is actually um, yours? I think I want like 30%, just 30% just okay. yeah. of it. Like, I so throw so the nades, put them in the Dodd. spots. It's just JM Dodd. The rest yeah, of it is like, fuck, like yeah. the rest of it is just like UY. <laughs> JM yeah. Z. There yeah. we go. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the third player, and again, this is probably shortened. KNZ. I that don't is know. actually that the full shortened. name. That, oh, that one's not shortened. Okay. And then we have um Cheese Eater. Come, bring up at the oh Cheese Eater, our our favorite, our Which favorite was individual. Shortened. So you're Which aware was that shortened. one was shortened. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't I'm not told anything. I just get <laughs> I just get shoved into these uh, situations. And on the right Twix, we have Klimmy, I want to say Climmy, Klimmy. Yep, With, either uh, one of those yeah, works. Either one and we have Bird obviously who showed up tonight and uh made his presence known. We have Langy. 
and Ja and to end up that uh, team, we've got Kool-Aid. That's the right Twix. Anyways, congrats to all of you major all-stars uh, for your, you know, your hard work and your, uh, you know, your dedication to the league. We appreciate you guys showing up and, and, and putting in the time and the effort. Boys, well, anything yeah. else we want to bring up, talk about before we I head mean, off for the night? Past this, well, we've got another game coming up. I won't be on the desk for this one, but I'll be excitedly watching on It'll my phone as desk. I'm traveling home. It'll be a new yeah, desk. Yeah, Mechatronic will be in this one. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So since Ooh. I'm playing and Buffy's traveling, you'll have some new. You'll have a new caster in Max. You'll mm-hmm. have a new host in. Uh, I believe it's in in Step Bro. And no, a new commentator in Step Row, and our guy Germs is coming in. Yes, the host for the desk. And um, yeah, I think. Oh, and Risha's on the desk. Oh boy, yeah, that's gonna. Be I think desk. Germs might be helping with the observing behind the scenes stuff. Either way, you got Max, Step, Germs, and Rishu all leading you through that one. That one is this Friday at the normal time, correct? Yes, I we believe will be so. At Nine p.m. this Friday, Woodwin Gang's minor team Piccolos. Uh, I, I might know a little bit gang. about them. Just uh, showing up. Yeah, we, we take on uh we take on the decoys from Supreme. That'll Wonderful. Be, that'll be exciting. I'm excited for that one. I think that's one of the strongest matchups, although unlike in this one where we painted the bassoons as an underdog, Woodwind Gang Piccolos are definitely the favorites into this one. So Damn I mean straight. make sure nine Eastern, six Pacific. <sighs> Translate that to whatever other time zones you got, and be sure to tune in this Friday for the minor finals, which should be an absolute banger. I, I'm excited. I'm excited to see these two teams meet finally. I've watched so little CSC this year, and I'm I'm just happy that I get to. Uh, yeah, Max to see has just the, gotten beat by me a bunch two. of times. Really yeah, all it is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> um well with that said with with everything plugged if you're in the chat and you don't um and you you don't know what's happening if you just somehow managed to wander you've clicked on this link for some reason and you're just here and you have no idea what's happening this is counter strike we are in a confederation and this is a completely free to play free to join doesn't matter where you think you are on a skill ladder come and join have a good time meet some cool people play some good counter strike i believe the it's exclamation mark discord in the chat to uh to join so. the discord i think it's also discord. in the description for the chat yes. discord.link oh, slash csc pretty easy to remember we got it all shortened look at that look at us look at us techies out here anyways unless someone else has something else to say mm-hmm. i think that's pretty much it from us here at csc we just want to say thank you so much to everyone for tuning in massive shout out to raptor for observing and not only observing running the whole stream behind the scenes big shout out to fuffy thank you for showing up man we appreciate you look at fly in the blazer mechatronic much to say my friend thank you thank you so much for showing up and and giving us your words of wisdom in uh, in what was a great major final and with that folks i think that i think that might be it i think that might be all she wrote so thank you again uh we love you all and uh you know what be well treat each other right goodbye have a good night